welcome back in. I'm gonna do a little stream here with Nova and Nova and Dahaka and Hugs. Is it working? We shall never know. It's working. It's working. We're working. I'm working if you're working. Drones are droning. We require more minerals. We'll say Finally, first. some backup. I don't truly Look, believe in good luck. I need to get rid of this really infestation good. before it spreads to the rest of the planet. The infested come out at night, but they can't survive the daylight. Good luck. Use that beer. time to take out their structures. Uh oh, we got a high. We have a high player. They're high on drugs. High on drugs. Right. I'll go over here and make this. Out of the way. You're number four. You guys are one and two. T E Q tab T E Q F two. Let's have a look here. So fast resp. Cool. Protoss essence. Almost over, we'll which means the infested are going to come for us soon. You want to build your thing over here, maybe? First, okay, no. That's the last of the sunlight. Our defenses have to hold until the night is over. combat. The Marines named these ones Kaboomers. The acid spit is bad enough, but just wait until they explode. is strong. 
strong again. Just a little longer, Commanders. The infested can't survive in the sun. Evolution complete. Okay, Commanders. We need to destroy enough structures today to stay ahead of the infestation. I've already marked a few for you. Let's get a bunch more drones. Upgrades. I've got another sector with structures on my scanners. Glevic joins us. By building rise, primal worm. We're making good progress. There's still a lot of infestation to go. Our forces have met the enemy in combat. Yet, Commanders, here's some more structures to burn out. Mervar is ready. Seems like we could use a defensive drone. Forces are under Kentucky's. attack. Right there. Evolution yes. complete. Here. 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 I will take essence. The day's gonna end soon, commanders. Time to change. Evolution. Commanders, this night's just getting started. You sure you want to do that at night, Commanders? The infested will be here any minute. Our allies are in combat. Defensive drone initiated. Don't get too bold out there. If our base falls to the infested, this planet will be lost. Time to play defense. Our allies are in Dacron, devourer of Kraith's our back. Allies base Lend is your strength. Eyes up, are right here. Our forces are under attack. Our A barricade is under attack. I follow. I will connect. I go. Run. Detecting some spotters. They can fly, so you better keep an eye on them. Our allies are in combat. Yes, Nerva is needed. Our allies' base is threatened. Not enough Vespine. Not enough Vespiners. Big spread. Time to change. Are you kidding me? 
Aemon wants to attack us now too? Perfect. Our allies are in combat. Bringing a defensive drone online. I will. The infested can attack us all they want. Soon, it's gonna be our turn. This is evolution complete. Our allies base is threatened. Metamorphosis completed. Let's get to work, commanders. We have to burn enough of the infestation today so that we don't fall behind. Keep it up, and we can still save this planet. Looks like we can find additional structures here. Activating defensive drone. Our forces have met the enemy in combat. Evolution. Complete. Our forces are under attack. Our forces have met the enemy in combat. Our forces are under attack. Sending you the coordinates for more structures. Our forces are under attack. Evolution. Our forces have met the enemy in combat. Most of the infestation has been dealt with. Just a little more to go. Don't go out too far. There isn't much time left in the day. Our forces are under attack. Another teammate not going for the bonus. It's like a pandemic. That's what we got. What's up with y'all? It's really not that difficult. Just keep fighting, commanders. We'll make it through the night. Not so hard. Our protecting a biophage in the field. Killing it could prevent future to be right here. but we'll have to attack it at night. Oh, I don't always go for it either. Don't worry if you can't kill the virophage tonight. There wasn't any rush here. Sure, it'll be back tomorrow. Nice job, commanders. Now we don't have to worry about the virophage after we clear out the structures. Looks like they're trying to tear down a barricade. Oh, yeah, tanks Buster here. So is under good. attack. Come to battle, man. I'm seeing the infested gather at one of the barricades. The high pressure is threatened. Also, but I'd advise against it, commanders. It'll be easier to take out the structures in the daytime. Our forces have met the enemy in combat. Our allies' base is threatened. Everyone in the ship, go, go, go! I can't believe it! Your we base actually died. did it! I mean, of course we did it! Never had a doubt. Where well, there's cake, there is party. Guess who wasn't in position for the bonus? Yet another teammate. This teammate is named Nova. It's a pandemic. 
There are people everywhere suffering from this. They just don't quite see it. They don't see it. No, sir, they don't see it. Okay, well, we had fun with that. That's my experience with that game. I bet y'all's experience is pretty much the same. It's a extremely interesting player base. That's the right word. I found a good one. So we'll transition into something else since that's basically a dead game. Not getting anywhere very fast with that. Let's go to maybe Subnautica, Starcraft 2, Deep Sky, Orcs Must Die 2, Charlie Chaplin, just stop streaming entirely, Black Mesa, Kingdom Rush 5. I could boot up Star Sector and just talk about it. Just Let's just see if that works. Let's just see if that works. Okay, I like this idea. We're going to prime ourselves for this. We may even just dip our toes in. So, we're going to want it in this. Let's, let's see what happens. Oh, I need to enter my passcode from my clipboard. Okay, well, that's a thing. So, we'll do that another time. Oh, it's going to stay right on top of the screen until I do that, huh? What if I have to go to a different program to get my passcode? Like my email. I had that out the other day. There it is. There it is. Nope, that's not it. This is the other one. Copies. And pastes. Control V. Activate. There we go. We're activated. Uh, options. Recommended. Anti aliasing. Full screen. I could go super high def. We could go super, super duper high def. Not sure if it's worth it. Let's just stay in 1920 for now. I'm tempted to do it though. Let's just stay in 1920 and see what we get. We'll jump up in resolution when the time comes. We are in this baby. Key configurations have changed. Okay. Default keys. Okay. Let's make a source for it. Is this a game capture? What we want to see if we can do, actually, is run this in a window. So, cancel. Quit. Exit game. Let's uh, go into Star Sector. Seven viewers. Done. Well, we're going to change our title, too. Um, prepping. What's uh, a remnant? Okay, here we go. Okay, yep, yep, yep. I'll capitalize our P and our star sector. This is supposed to be star sector. Eight viewers. I just added one. <laughs> nice. Okay. So now we added our source in. Add in. Is it a window capture? Oh no. What we were trying to do, we, we booted up again, but we wanted it in a Windows mode. Options. It doesn't. Whoop! It doesn't provide a windowed mode. Mods. Don't have the mods enabled yet. 
full screen. There it is. Play Star Sector. Huh. Now if I tab out, it's still playing in the background. That's what I want. But it still looks full screen if I, I click on it. So, let's go with the cozy computer. Actually, let's go to our primary source here. Add that in. Game capture. Create new. Star sector. Specific window. I like the specific windows. Match title, fine. Capture audio, fine. Okay, fine. And then we're going to drag Star Sector down to all of our other games. Above OMD2. And we are in, folks. Look at that. Oh. Oh, that's nice. You gotta admit. That's a little all right. Well. I don't remember this little scan passing across the screen. I don't remember that. That's new. I do remember the ships. They have a random ship put across. So, what I'm going to do, after I scratch my nose, is unzip my mod files that I downloaded. And... Hmm, how am I going to display that on the stream? I need, almost need like a panel. I think I need a panel. I need to add a new panel. I just added one panel yesterday, and I tried to add a second, and it gave me error every time I tried to add a second panel. So, I'm not sure what the deal is with the Twitch panels. One of the panels can have all of my Star Sector mods listed or something like that. I don't have the uh, stream elements set up yet. Or I just need to set up that stream elements, probably. So you can have a mod command that shows you what mods. Maybe that'll do. I don't know. Oh, we're just going to sit here in the menu for a little while. The menu to this game is just wonderful. Can you hear it? Yeah, you can hear it. It could be a little bit louder, even. We're going to boost Star Sector's audio. Filter. Audio filters. Add. Gain. Gain. We're going to gain 10 decibels. Oh. We're at 7. We're in the red here at 10. Okay, that's okay. be a little bit louder than me. Actually, I hit the red too, so it's the same. I'm, I have gain on my mic to reach this higher decibel range. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. So, I'm in OBS, now I'm in the game. Go back to OBS, and then click my file browser, my downloads. I have all of my Lazy Live, Magic Live, Nexorel, and Luna Live, Speed Up, more bar missions, Animal Portrait Pack, Marvelous Personas, and Battletech Portrait Pack. So I have three portrait packs. More bar missions just adds that. Just adds, makes it so you don't have to fly around quite as much. And Speed Up just speeds up time faster. Although I think there might be a default Speed Up in there now. Luna Lib is required for to get all that stuff to run. And Nexorellin requires magic and lazy. Nexorellin is makes things so much more complicated and easier and harder at the same time. <laughs> it adds a nice layer to the vanilla, which I'm gonna run. I'm not gonna add in any faction mods until I do another run. I just want to do a vanilla first run for my stream here. I basically have a vanilla stream, so why not do a vanilla run? Uh, although I'm not pure vanilla, I'm adding a little bit of stuff. The speed up is really cool. I'm really adding quality of life. The bar missions is... You don't have to have that, but it, it, 
It just feels nicer. I just like that. It just feels better. It's not some great perk that you're getting. It's just, I'm already checking the bars anyway, so it might as well be. It, it makes sense. It's a planet. So, on a planet, in a space bar, there's going to be a lot of traffic. There should be a, there should be tons of traffic. If they're talking about all the resources that they're transferring back and forth, all the people, all the commanders and all the ships from all the factions, there would just be so much traffic, it would be unbelievable. Because they're talking about untold more than trillions of people in their universe. This is quintillions, I don't know, whatever is after trillions of people. It's a lot of people. That's why you're able to just keep killing each other all the time. Giant fleets of people. Oh boy, I'm excited for this. I am excited. So I started in StarCraft, and I've transitioned into Star Sector. <laughs> because that's kind of a logical thing. I am in a lot of uh, space-themed... Whatchamacallits. In fact, I'm going to add that as a tag. Space. Or star. Let's add tag. We're adding star as a tag. Starcraft, Star Sector. I probably play another game that starts with Star. Not Star Wars, but I enjoy that movie franchise. Originals, of course. I'm so old. Yeah, the originals just have a level of quality that seems absent in the others. Something about them. The others are all, like, so derivative. They're just trying to redo the original over and over and over and over and over again. It's like, ugh. don't like that. It, until they get to, like, Mandalorian and things like that, where they're really diverging. But then it's like, Boba Fett over and over. Boba Fett, Boba Fett, Boba Fett, Boba Fett. I'm like, okay. It needs to be totally original. I, I like what they've done with adding in the other races. The, the girl that has the dreadlocks in the cartoon, she's cool. I like that. The different different races that they added in are pretty cool there. Okay, so you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm adding in my packs here. So I want to export extract all to Star Sector Mod. Is that right? What I need to do, cancel, is put all these first into the correct folder and then extract them all. So control X and then we find the folder. It's going to be program files, let's see, C, program files 86, it starts with an F, fractal, star sector, mods, folder is empty. So we we'll just paste, paste. That's five. The new Windows doesn't have a word for paste. It's just an icon. I hate that. Oh, I hate Windows so much. Fiery passion for hating Windows. So can I just unzip all of them at the same time? Yeah, there's an extract all. There we go. Extract all. Okay. It only did one. F. What is this little shortcut? Share. Why do I share? Why does share look exactly like extract? Close it. Lazy live, extract, extract. Ah, I keep having to say show file. So. Luna lib, extract, un 
check that. Magic lid. Extract. There we go. Marvelous personas. Extract. More bar missions. Guess what? We're gonna extract. Same deal. Next Relin. We're gonna extract that too. We're gonna extract and extrude. I've been extruding tomatoes into the cage coop of these chickens that have a very fine chicken wire cage. But I can squeeze a tomato, push it with my thumb right against it, and it just extrudes into their cage where they're able to like Uh, I love my little chicken so much. I visit them basically every day. Okay, I've lost my place. So, it's right here. Animal Portrait Pack, Battle, Lazy, Luna, Magic, Marvelous, More, Next Relin, Speed Up is the last one. Extract all. Extract. Alright. So, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mods right now. And we're running basically vanilla. <laughs> Money. Okay. So now, with Star Sector, I gotta do a quit. It's gonna put us into the stars. So, I want to open up Star Sector yet again, now that all my mods are in place. Click the mods. You don't have any mods installed. Check it to the mods. I've done that. I've done that. I've totally done that. Oh, that's nice. It, like, shows it on the stream here. I don't know why it's so small. Can I make it bigger? Uh, let's cancel that, actually. Okay, well, this is actually just a small thing. So, uh, I think what I have to do is just close it again. And double check that I put my stuff in the right folder. I'm in mods. Star Sector mods. Yes, Star Sector mods. Yep. That's all in there. Oh, you know what? It put it in a folder. Each one of them is in a folder. And then the, that folder has its another folder named itself inside of it. Which is the problem. So, paste... Oh my gosh, control V. Yep. Control X. Up. Oh my god, this is going to be a pain in the balls. Okay, which one is which? So this one is deletable. Animal portrait pack? Okay, we're good. Battletech portrait pack, lazy lib. Okay. Control X, mods, V, lazy lib, delete, that one, Luna lib, same deal, control X, up, control V, okay, and it's like, it's replacing the, f the file that's there, control X, back, control V, marvelous personas, X. Wow, what a pain in the balls. The more bar missions done with all of them. Doesn't quite understand the whole extract thing. Speed up. Control X. Control B. Delete. Bar missions. Okay. Delete. Marvelous personas. Oh, it's fine. Up. Magic lib. It's fine. Refresh. Up. Luna lib. Up. Lazy lib. Up. We're fine. We're we're in business. In fact, I want to delete all of the. Actually, copy. Cut. And then go to downloads. Put those back in downloads. And delete these two here. 
Yeah, you guys get to live in the downloads. Okay. I could put you in a folder in here. Okay. New folder. Star sector mods. Move them into that. Okay, done. Keep that. I want to put the whole star sector thing in there too. Actually, let's just delete the star sector install. We don't need that anymore, and it's pretty big. Delete. We don't really need the mods anymore either. The zips of the mods. So now, when we run star sector, when we go to the mod, let's see if it pops up here. Come on, pop up. Do your little pop up. I know you want to. There you go. Here we go. Now we click on mods. Ah, and here they all are. Before it was saying there was none. Okay. There you have it, folks. These are the mods we'll be running. In the game. I can make this bigger. How do you like that? It doesn't look right now. <laughs> Let's make it a little bit smaller. Smaller over here this way too. Okay, but you can see what we have. Different, basically portrait, portrait, and portrait. So this just affects what the commander and officers can look like. And like governors and stuff. Um, Lazy lib is required. Come on, enable all. Lazy lib is required to run one of them. Luna and magic lib are also required to run these other uh, bar missions, next relin, and speed up. I forgot which one requires what, but that's how that works. So we're gonna save. They don't. They don't yeah. If anybody has any questions, you can just ask me, and I'll try to explain it to the best of my ability. I'm no super pro, but here we go. We done did our thing. Maybe I should have started the whole thing on another time. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I start the stream? Uh, let's. I just want to jump in. I might not live on this first pass. Now, there is another thing I like to do, which is... I, I guess I could do this on another pass. Is enable the console so that I can immediately set all of the factions to have a negative 100 reputation with my faction making them essentially all hate my guts and want to just destroy me instantly everybody and that at the very beginning adds a layer of challenge to the already difficult challenge that I like to start with so, but to begin with what we have here with just this vanilla run we'll just start with a regularly difficult challenge and I'll add in that extra layer of difficulty it's for my own benefit personally um, you guys would benefit more from the ongoingness of the campaign we shall do a mission a new game we've done the tutorials I think I've done a tutorial we shall call this one hmm what shall we call this one We're streaming on Twitch. We're in the stars. It is a sector. We're wanting to do something fun here. He is the com going to start as a zero and go to the absolute hero of the universe. So, we will be picking... Not to that guy. He looks like a total douche, bro. Hey, bro. What is up, bro? This guy, he is respectable. He has a uh, modern haircut, but a respectable face and a respectable beard for a man. And this man here, total anonymy. He does not ever take his helmet off, even to poop. Never, not once. This man here, ponytail, with a little bit of color. You know he smoke a little bit of weed, okay. This guy here, he mean a business. He has... All sorts of tubular tubes attached to his helmet. But what if one of the tubular tubes were to get cut? Is he in an iron lung? Is he going to die? Well, I don't know. I don't want to be that guy. 
this person, she don't care. She knows what's up. But I don't know if she could be trusted to lead the whole universe. Look at her, she's a devious sort. Oh my goodness. I'm already falling in love. Okay. Pick a random, no? Pick a random. This is not going so well for me. This person. You look like a student at the academy. Who are you? You're green skin. This guy. Another. He is just a nerd. Modern military nerd. Is what we call that. He is flying the predator drones. Killing all the innocent civilians. Saying, oh, sorry boss. I spilt my coffee on the keyboard. Oopsie. The boss here lady says, well you'll do better next time. And I will be the instructor. This is a domineering lady right here. She's in a kind of a German outfit. I don't know about that. Who is this gentleman? A well sir with the shiny nose. Okay, goodbye. This is a space persona with the mask, with the flighter, fire, whatever, fire, fighter jet pilot mask. Got oxygen pumping into his face. Next. The Viking man. Okay, you're out of time. You're listening to the music instead of paying attention in school, okay? Good job, girl, you'll learn one day. This guy been in one too many fights, he forgot to wash his face. This guy, what have we done here? Where did these persona packs come from? He's actually kinda cool, I like this guy. This guy is also kinda cool, okay. This guy I could see end up running the whole universe. Something about his eyes. Yeah. Her? Oh, I'm falling in love. Get out. I'm gonna pick her as an officer. This guy? He looks like me. Totally stoned out of his mind. <laughs> uh, this lady? I don't know. This lady? She looks badass. She's a, a fierce fighter. She could. I could see that person taking over the entire universe. We've already seen you. This guy? He's too humble. If Actually, he would be the perfect guy. This is like my kind of stepdad guy. He's like, just knows what he's doing. Moderate, Monica man. Heart of gold. Okay. This guy, I don't know, he's eating too much. This guy, not eating enough. His, the top of his head is way smaller than the bottom of his head. Something's going on. This guy forgot to take off his helmet for his photograph. This guy took off his helmet but probably should have kept it on. <laughs> I could see that last guy taking over everything. This guy, I don't know. This guy looks like he just woke up. This guy, I'm not seeing him take over everything. He's too much of a stoner too, like me. Okay, she could take over the world and everything, maybe. This guy, not a chance. He's a villain. He's a scum lord. This lady, possibly. I'm not sure. Not sure teacher lady this guy also facial proportion <laughs> this guy what a guy he has my smirk he knows what's up he knows what's up okay this guy i don't know probably these are the type of guys who would end up getting it we've, we've seen the ponytail okay we're just gonna have to pick oh mercy we get to just look at them all oh see this type of stuff is gonna make she just this girl is too cute this girl also too cute. This guy, he's cute inside of his helmet. This guy, not so cute. He's got smoldering eyes though. Oh, devious sort. Another devious sort right here. Don't mind if I do. This guy's awesome. Got the sig in his mouth. It's like you know this will be immortalized, right? I mean, I don't even give a fuck. Ah, uh, she's one of the OGs. I recognize her. This guy, look at him. He's got a skull. Oh, we might have to go with that. The bottom of his helmet is shaped like a skull. Like mouth. That's cool. She's a ninja. She's wearing her mask. She wants. She has. I believe in like avoiding getting COVID. So does this guy. So does this guy. He's really. He's, really, he's like. I'm not even gonna get COVID in my eyes ever. This guy is like. I got the whole face shield, but I don't believe that anybody in this room has it, so I'll just lift it. She can see what's going on. She looks like 
She means business. This guy, <laughs> a little cross-eyed there. This guy is a businessman. He probably does control the universe. He's got the age going, and he's listening to his own tunes. Some of these people. Holy, I'm just gonna go through all these and like talk shit about them. <laughs> oh, here are my animals. See, I basically run with the animals. Those are my commanders. We have a whole nother. This is the other set. I'm not sure I like this artist, but it's gonna add in a nice level of depth. Why are there five of these? So they're different. Why are the five of these guys and girls doing their thing and doing whatever it was? Why? Going and I get like that sometimes. Okay. Well, that's a weird one. Why is it like completely different than everything else? It's a it's a crow with sunglasses. That ass. Maybe that should be mine. That's a black dude. This is a zombie dude. That's a black dude. That's a zombie dude. He's got blue. suited ones. Oh, there's like guts. He looks like he has guts because of the tubes in front. Same deal there. Oh, I like this. The ninja spaceman. That's badass. He got the, the katana ready to go. You know he means business. Don't make him whip that out. Got the seahorse or something. Holly, why the long face? I love the sheep and I love the duck. And where are the other animals? What? What? Where are the other animals? There we go. The koala is so charming. The cat, like you gotta be the cat. I I have played campaigns as the cat. I've played campaigns as the crow. I love the crow's expression. The pigeon's expression is like what? I think I've played a campaign as the ram here, and maybe even as the fox. The fox has such a wonderful smirk. Or maybe not fox, maybe finnick fox? Like the smaller version, the giant ears. So freaking cute. I love doing this. this is, the art is some of the best part of this game. So you gotta, you gotta take your time here. I like her face. This is nice. Her face too. They did it right. Really good job with the faces in this portrait pack. I have to admit. I was talking shit about them, but they're pretty dope. Oh, with the Native American with the tribal paint. Wow. Powerful. <laughs> this guy, he's too young to have that sort of battle scar. Don't look right. Plus he has the shaved head. It's like modern shaved head. He needs to have like a bald head. They didn't shave their head like that until just recently. So am I, am I picking my own character here? I think I want to be the crow again. Or maybe the cat. I like the cat commander. Domain identity chip. This cat person is definitely going to take over the entire world. The Tejit, I think they're called. Cat people. They're cat folk. Zimler cat folky. 
I call them such meows. Such good little meows. Such a meow. Suchings. Meow mix. It's your meows a lot. Sir Pounce. That was from Game of Thrones. Um, what about Cat in the Stars? What? I need a cat name. Who's the cat-like god in the Egyptian... Let's ask Gemini. Who's the cat-like god in the Egyptian mythology? Hey, Gemini. Uh, I was wondering, um, who is the cat-like deity in the Egyptian mythology? Bastet. Is the Egyptian cat-like deity... You want to say it? Bastet. Okay. Bubastis? No. Bastet. I don't even know if I ever knew that. Bastet. Well, I don't really like that name. I'm just going to come up with something. You guys see the whole thing here? What does it look like? You can't even see the whole thing. It looks crazy. Okay, so, control F. That one looks perfect. Man, I'm good. That's exactly what I'm saying. That was because I had it set for the other little thing. That screwed me over. You screwed me over, man. It's your little mini thing starting up. Okay, how are you? Oh yeah, you missed that whole intro. God. You guys missed the whole intro because of that. All the little personas. You can catch me in that. Well, F me. I guess what I'll do is, uh... I'll get this started, and then stop it. I'll get it ready to go, and then... start the whole thing on another stream tomorrow. That's what I'll do. It makes more sense. We're gonna call this guy... Vimeo? Vimeo. 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 Vimeo? Uh, it's named him Vimeo. Vimeo. Like Venmo? Vimeo. Vimeo. I like Vimeo. That's okay. Sir, ma'am, Captain Vimeo. Captain Vimeo. Iron mode, yeah. We want iron mode, no do-overs. We're hardcore. We don't have around. Help pop-ups? We don't need that. Normal, mix, continue, paste. You guys want that, you can have it. Random? No, let's keep it regular. Sector generation. Faction settings. Default. No, I don't about that. A respawn? No. Other options? There we go. Easy mode? No. Starfarer mode? What is this? Other factions are more aggressive towards yours. Lower colony growth rate. Lower colony income. Higher vengeance point generation. Enabled. Spacer obligation. Growing monthly payments as seen in the spacer start. Yep. This makes it harder at the start. Academy stipend. This makes it harder to go without this. But I usually just leave it on. 
Oh, it's automatically disabled in Starfarer mode with a spacer start. Okay, so automatically disabled. Don't worry about it. Random is fine. Starting, let's go severe demods. Own faction start. We're not starting our own faction. Or we are starting our own faction. Any core is fine. Starting neighbors. Skip story, enable. Oh uh, yeah, it's going to enable... Well, maybe I want to do the story. Ah, I'm not going to enable that, I see. I'm not enabling random. Yeah, okay, that's all that's fine. Custom scenario. None. Sector generation. Extra colonies to start. Whoa. Back. Sector generation. Enable random. No. Proceed. Which faction? No. Free start. Custom start. Spacer start. Very hard. A non-combat shuttle. A general lack of resources and a debt that must be paid. Very difficult start. Only intended as a challenge for the starfarer that's seen it all. Guess what? That's you, too. You know it is. Unless you just got here to Star Sector, then you're a star. You are you need to be playing very hard. But you just challenge yourself. Go ahead and launch it. It just makes the beginning that much more of a challenge and like to understand the core mechanic of the game. But it is pretty easy to get out of it. You just buy and sell according to the economy of the game and go forth from there you basically have to be a pirate you basically have to avoid the taxes you can't be paying 30 percent taxes and make a profit still you have to be avoiding the tax brackets that's how this game is played now don't do that in real life because if you get caught in real life the people who come after you are more serious than the people who, the game people who come after you in the game, they just want to blow your ships up. People in real life, they they want their money, and they're going to get it from you. So, <laughs> you better pay them what you owe them, like everybody else on the planet. I mean, death and taxes, that's what you have to do. Die and pay tax. Okay. So, we already did our thing. Space or start. We acquired a kite. It's going to be effed up. Because we, we chose chose that. 15 fuel, 2,000 bucks, and a bunch of debt. It's going to be more than that in debt. But I'm going to be making so much cheddar, it's going to pay for that debt easy. For the rest of my life. Someone out there is going to pay off of my debt. Maybe i got to pay some child support or something. It's probably child support. Uh, fortunately, in real life, I, I don't owe anybody child support. That's very nice. That would put, that would put a hamper on my style, but maybe it wouldn't. Maybe then I would have a child, and then I would get to hang out with that child, and that would benefit me. But I don't have that either. Not doing that. Not right now. Done. Here we are. We get one skill point to spend. We have combat, leadership, technology, and industry as categories. All of this will make me a better fighter in my one ship, which has no guns at all. So, if I got basically any of this except for speed and shield, it would be worthless. Here, leadership. I have no other ships in my fleet. It's not going to do me any good to get this. Technology. Here we go. Navigation which allows transverse jump. Jump to a system through a nascent gravity well. I make my own little well. Or directly into hyperspace. I can just pop in and out of galaxies and hyperspace at will according to whatever, whatever I have to pay. Really nice. Sensors is also nice. Don't get detected and be able to detect more. But this. Industry. Bulk transport. You can carry more cargo. 
Well, at the beginning of the game, cargo is what you need to carry in order to make money. To buy more cargo, to carry more cargo, to buy more cargo, to get more ships, to get more cargo, to get more ships, to kill more ships, to get more cargo, to get more ships, to get more planets, to take over the universe, apparently, or whatever the end goal is here. Now we also have salvaging. So after a fight, which we're not going to get into, we will get more stuff. Not going to get into that fight. Field repair, again, not going to get into a fight, don't need, need to repair. It's this, it's bulk transport. And it's, then it's these, sensors and navigation. But really, it's this, and then field repairs, and then one of these, or we just jump right into this. We need two first, so it's that one, that one, and then one of these. Equipment, probably. Or this, I don't know. Fuel consumption. Yeah, that's nice. And then derelict operators. We are running a another type of deep sky derelict here. Get this. Yeah, people don't understand the value of this. And I didn't either when I first started playing. I'm gonna take a break, I'm gonna blow my nose, go to the bathroom, all that sort of stuff. So we're just gonna hang out right here for a little while. See who comes in the door. Put a little be right back up on the screen. Actually what I can do. I really need to blow my nose, so hold on. Be right back. came trickling in. It was me this whole time. So th that star looks really weird. I could move my camera a little bit. What if I am on the other side? Streamer on the left. Okay. So we would have to add our source again. Game capture. Yeah, existing. It's down here. Star sector. It's at the very bottom. And we stick it. Oh, why am I down here? Camera. I can do this. Hello, everybody. I've cropped it. I've cropped out my whole section. I used to be able to really stick my arm way out there. <laughs> okay. So, maybe up here? Over here? Not sure. Not sure. I need to be sitting a little bit higher in my chair. I was wrong. 
So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go from this left side. Why not? See what happens. That's fine. Back to the game. We got our right, one upgrade. Bulk transport. Ah. You're already asking me about the mods. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. What is the best way to display the mods? Andean60, you tell me that, and I'll tell you the mods. Thanks for the follow as well. Huh, see? There is no good way to display the mods. I really don't know. I just started streaming, so I will tell you the mods. What I could do is possibly show you the mods. Or take a picture of them. That's what I'll do. That, that might be the easiest way. Uh, da, da, da. I still have my folder open. I just literally set it all up. So, let me go. I have two folders open. Downloads. I don't want. Star Sector Mods. I do want. Why is it all zipped? It shouldn't be zipped. Oh, it's because I'm not in my folder yet. No. Well, here they all are. I don't want it to escort it by time. I guess it doesn't matter. So uh, I'll do a snipping tool. New snip of the name, date modified, and type. Okay. Nope, uh, I haven't changed anything. I just started and uh, I just installed. I've got a, whatever, 1980 by or whatever 1080 it is I don't know what the resolution is it's not the super highest resolution it's just the one below that it's like whatever YouTube and Twitch like 1080p that, that one. Uh, the OST what is OST again oh original soundtrack that's what that is uh, no this uh, I've never noticed that it was ear rape but you could be right. You could be right. Uh, there's there's a lot about this game that's a little uh, rough around the edges, but you know, I try to give it a free pass on that stuff. I'm just starting out in this campaign. This is my first ever campaign on Twitch with this. I've done about maybe a dozen campaigns in the past, but never streamed. So I'll see what I get out of this basically vanilla run. I, let me finish what I was doing. Okay, I have this thing here. It's been saved, so I can close that, and I can make it a source here in this scene. So, image. Da, da, da. We're going to call it star sector mods list. Mod list. Almost. Yeah, we're getting close. I will start the game. Thank you. That's a good suggestion. I appreciate your advice. It's a good idea, actually. But you asked me first what mods, and I really wanted to solve that problem about how to display the mods for people who ask me what mod do you have. Uh, so when you take a snapshot, it saves it in screenshots. Here it is. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. This is it. Okay. Say okay. There it is. Is that big enough for you? These are the mods. There you go. How's that for you? <laughs> uh, there's not a lot going on, so I could just make it big. I uh, installed... Really, Next Relin is the only relevant mod. I have Animal Portrait Pack, Marvelous Personas, and Battletech Portrait Pack. So those don't do anything but just give me images of the commanders and stuff. Of the officers. Uh, more bar missions just gives you more bar missions at the bars. Speed up lets you speed up the fights and the campaign, which I think Nexorellin already lets you do. I'm not sure. Luna Lib and Magic Lib and Lazy Lib are just all required to run all this other stuff. And Nexorellin does a lot of stuff. Nexorellin is probably the major change that goes, that you'll see. If, if you're familiar with this, you, you're probably. A, yeah, well, I'm... I am neither. I'm not a yes or no. Okay, well, you see it. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. If I can see it, you can see it. So, there it is. There it is. You can see when I added it, too. What type of file it is. Whoa. 
I'll make it really tiny. Now you can't see it. There it is. Okay, and I can also just hide this at will with the click of a button. And then start the game. I can click back in the game. No faction mods. Yeah, I'm going to do a vanilla run with no faction mods first as my first run. I'm going to upload all this to YouTube, and you're going to be present in that. So here we are. Whoa. I talked to this uh, encounter a hege hegemony mercantile convoy. Hegemony, however you want to pronounce it. They're a part of Kotal. Their destination is to Asher. Their cargo is Marines. If they don't reach their destination... I'm not going to read all this. I'm not going to put you through that sort of torture. Uh, I'm just this little crappy kite, so I don't want anything to do with them. I'll just leave. I didn't even mean to click on them. I just I accidentally clicked on that. I have this habit where I just click. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm in a computer, and I just click the thing, and I'm a human being. I don't know what I'm doing. So, oh, we're starting out here at Asher, which is, uh, well, who controls this? It's the green people. The, green, the Greens have control of this. The Ludics. L the Luddites have this. Their church. Not the crazy ones. Not the Pathers. Wednesday Gross. What was the question again? What kind of start am I going for? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. I guess in, I guess I go for economic starts. If, if I am reading your question correctly. Uh, where I just basically... I have a kite. Oh! My very, very beginning was a spacer start with a debt and uh, whatever, Nexarellans, I forget what they call that. Uh, it's like the hardest mode that they have, uh, where you have, to, you have to pay a debt and you only start with a kite. Um, it's basically the most challenging mode. And what I usually do in my other runs, I've, I've played this so many times, I will add in, I'll open up the console and make the reputation negative uh, yeah, I skipped the tutorial. I did skip it. Uh, I don't think I skipped the story. I want to do the story because that's kind of a part of the vanilla experience. And it it goes into like how you are able to manipulate the economies in the game. And so when you just start out with not being able to use the gates, uh, that changes things. It changes how fast you can move around the universe and everything. You, you, know, you know how that works. So let's uh I don't want to do I don't want to talk to this guy. Uh yeah, that's, that's a good question. F is that button. So I have I'm in the, I am the captain. My name is Vimeow. I'm a, a cat, by the way. Or a, a Tajit, I think they're called. I'm the captain of what they've called the Bright Spark, which has some problems. Uh let's refit it. Let's let's rename it. Uh, what's your name again? Adian sixty. We're gonna call this not the Adian sixty. We're gonna call this the Adian five thousand shuttle. Now this is just like a shuttlecraft from the Adian five thousand larger vessel battle station type of scenario. You know what I'm saying? You're cutting in and out? Okay, what are you on? Am I cutting out and out? No, no, my drop frames are at zero, so it's gotta be you cutting in and out. Are you on a phone right now? Are you probably on Wi-Fi? I bet that's your problem. You're not, you don't have a hard connection to the internet. That's why you're cutting in and out. I uh, had internet problems. Okay, I'm just starting out, so like nothing is happening here. I really don't, I, actually, I wanna change some of this stuff. I don't want blast doors. That's terrible. And then I'll tell you my internet story. Insulated engine assembly? I really do want. This is so good. That's one of my favorite ones of all time. Hardened subsystem? We don't need that. What we want is the cargo holds. I want to be able to hold more cargo and sell more cargo. Really. In all of my ships. Right at the start. As well as, I don't want to lose them, so that's a good one. Let's ditch some of these vents. We're, wait. Oh, yeah, I never do the tutorial for some reason. I just, um, I just start out. I just let it kick me out into the thing, and uh, 
I, I don't build up my fleet using that tutorial tactic. I have a different tactic for building up the fleet that just feels a little bit less gimme. I don't know. You'll, you'll see. You'll, you'll see. Just watch and, watch and learn. Watch how the pros do it. And by pros, I mean total amateur that is more of an amateur than you, <laughs> most likely. Uh, we don't want armored weapon mounts, but this is a good one because it gives you that armor. Uh, what I want is to be able to move faster. They don't let you do that right off the start. This is it. Top speed in combat. That, that lets you get out of danger. I mean, that's what you want to do. And then... What is this? Shifts maneuver. That's just turning left and right. So, distributor would be the next thing. To give you more vents. We don't need capacitors. We need vents. And then whatever... Actually... Do we have a weapon? We don't even have weapons here, so... I don't even have a weapon. I'm not going to be shooting at anybody for a little while here. I'm going to be avoiding combat. Alright. And I want to trade some goods. Let's see what they have in their stores. Uh, I, I'm not too afraid of their... vessels, their, their police officers. So let's just see what they have on the black market, right? What do they have a good deal on? That's what I'm interested in deals. When I go to Amazon, I'm looking at the deals. When I uh, when I go to like Target, I go to the back of the little aisles where they have the clearance section. <laughs> I see what deals they have going on. Cause sometimes, about I'd say about 20% of the time, about a fifth of the time, you find a deal. You find like a bunch of deals. You find boxes of stuff that you were gonna buy anyway that's now marked like one dollar each because they're gonna expire in a month but you're gonna eat all those five boxes of brownie mix you know or whatever you're like currently obsessed with okay I'll, I'll show up about that what, what are you into I'm curious about uh, what sort of runs you do ah that's just what makes you more in the, what do you mean by more in the future I like that though I like what you're talking about I like your style, buddy. That's making me think about that. That's cool. More in the future. Yeah. Uh, how's the camera here? The camera is like getting weirded out because my text is on. I'm, I'm, I'm new to the stream, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. I want to affect the camera and move it. Then you go on the other side. Let me, let me try this other side. I have the other... Now I'm at, in front of a planet. Let me go to the left again. I think this is okay. There we go. That's good. Right at the top of that little thing. That's fine. Maybe, maybe that way. Okay. So, well, the moral of the story here is that nothing they have is good. This planet does not have any good deals on anything. What do we need? We have two crew. We have 15 <laughs> supplies. How, what, how much supplies are we using? We're using 0.1 supplies per day. So we have 150 days worth of supplies. <laughs> Probably the same for the fuel. Oh, let's go their ships. Buy. Let's buy on the black market. Oh my gosh, they have one of these? Yeah, 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 I do want to hear something insane. Salvage rigs. Ah. Uh, and shepherds. You know, I never really go with shepherds. But I know what you're talking about. Uh, they have uh, some cargo. Yeah, what's insane? I like to go phase frigates, but later on. These guys are cool. What I want now is this guy. But I don't have any money. So the first thing I have to do is just buy and sell up enough stuff to get some more money before I, my my debt is owed. Four hammer apex. What's apex again? I have to Google that. I forget. Jackhammered apex. Apex is a ship. Is apex one of these? Apex is a um, apex is a faction, right? Apex is a faction. Apex is a game. 
Jackhammer Apex. Let me, uh, four Jackhammer Apex. I'm gonna copy, and, uh, what I can do, can you see, you can't see my tab, but I can show it to you. I'm just gonna... Where is Firefox? There. Now you can see what I'm doing. It's uh, cropped funny, but you can basically tell what I'm doing here. Not that one, this one? Okay. Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've never played with that when you get the, um... Yeah, you get the ability to use their ships. I've never played with the Apex and that. I've always basically gone for the Radiant, the bigger one. But it's like able to blink right on top of other ones. Yeah, that's cool, dude. That's... Yeah, I did. I did. You should be able to see it. And, and load it up with jackhammers. I see what you're saying. And then just unload the um, torpedoes right in their face <laughs> a bunch of times. Yeah, uh, jackhammers are effective on other... Yeah, yeah, okay. That's pretty dope. Okay, so I can't afford any ships here. That's my problem. <laughs> I, I would take that. If I could get that right now, I'd take that and then take over the whole universe. Actually, I'd probably run into more debt. Because yet that requires... Oh, it doesn't require crew. I just have to have the upgrade. So, uh, I'm not really able to do anything here. I want to leave this place. And look at my map. We're at this place. Gilead. I need to go to this jump point. Without hitting a rock. Okay, here we go. Oh, I can zoom way the heck out. I love that. We're going faster. We're speeding this up. We're speeding this up still. Oh, oh. Okay, pausing. I, I messed up my speed up. I thought I was speeding up. No, I'm not speeding up. There we go. I just don't want them chasing me. Because I could die instantly from anything right now. There's somebody hostile right outside this? No. Let's, let's go there anyway. There must be like pirates or somebody standing right outside. This guy. Why are you hostile to me? What did I do to you? I think they're just hostile to everybody. Uh, I want to go to a system like this one. M the Magic system, I can sell stuff. Buy and sell really well. Galatia, I, I don't need supplies yet. I checked on that. Um, my supplies... I have 15 supplies, but I'm only burning... Well, I'm now burning them at 0.3 per day. But I was burning them at 0.1. 0 0.1 per day. <laughs> yeah, total low. Uh, transponder on. Let's... Yeah, let's turn the transponder on. Barren world we're not concerned with. Should we go to the pirates or Nova first? I think we go to the pirates first and see what they have available. Just right off the bat. Right into Kanta's den. What could go wrong with taking my little shuttle with no defenses into one of the... Ah, mm. uh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop into to the, uh, to the danger den here. It's five stars of danger. What could go wrong? My ship approaches Kanta's den. Traffic control seems to spend little time trading crude jokes with pirate raiders when not trying to bully bribes out of docking vessels. An artful arrangement of gutted starship hulls festoons the station. I won't do this all the time. And a closer examination reveals vacuum desiccation remains attached using the asteroid miner's pitons. The messaging is unambiguous. Your ship goes into orbit around Cantus Den. The local port authority seems to take no issue with your explanation for why your transponder, regrettably, can't be turned on. I like the humor that they put in this. Alright, uh, we are going to go down to the bar right away. Uh, I don't 
don't know about any of this. Let's flag down the academic with a try. Okay. This lady turns out to be a scientist in the bar. Yeah, I like to hit on people in the bar. And this lady is kind of attractive. So she turns out to be a scientist. Maybe a quote unquote scientist. Scientist. So she's delighted. Basically, she's going to promise me to give me this AI core. No, I have to retrieve the AI core for her. I have to basically risk my life for this lady. The data doesn't lie. Uh, and then I just ship it back to her and, uh, you know, I, I get like a couple hundred bucks or something. Well, the joke's on her. The AI core is worth millions and millions and millions of dollars. Oh, and she's offering me like 10K. Like, she thinks I'm sort of sucker. I'm going to risk my life to pay this lady some exorbitant thing. That, that lady's evil is what's happening. You have to be able to understand what's really happening in life. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. We're done here. We're going to trade something valuable. So they really want the fuel and they really want supplies. Now we know. What do they have good deals on? This is what we're gonna look at. The luxury goods, not that. The recreational drugs, not that. And the domestic goods. Don't do that yet. What are you sad about? Galatia system. Galatia has rec cluster. What is a rec cluster? Galatia, please. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to pop into Galatia yet. Uh, Galatia is a little bit further away, and I am limited fuel. Or do a spy sat mission. Well, hold up a second. This is a the spy sat mission is kind of kind of tricky. I, I have done those and I I like those and I dislike those. I have a love hate relationship with the spy sat mission. I usually just avoid them once I get going. But uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna work with Kanta here. I'm a, basically a pirate at heart when it comes to Star Sector. Uh, what they're offering me here is too good to pass up. I just flew over here in a kite, and, and they know that they're offering this. They know that this is illegal goods, illegal substances, so, but you can get caught doing this. That's the trade-off, and you can pay the ultimate price. So I'm in iron mode. I, I can't just quick save it and quick load it. If I die here, that's it. I'm going to Galatia, like you said. <laughs> uh, but give me, give me a chance here to do this little run, and I'll show you kind of how I... I've been starting my runs in that way. And maybe it's nothing new to you, but maybe it is. So I only burned through one supply on my trip here. I had 15, now I have 14. But we can get some cheddar for this. It sells for 147. So let's sell five. Oh, oh, black market. Oh, was there, there wasn't a spice at mission though. So I'm not gonna do any mission just yet. We have a, a chance to just invest in our economy to get a little bit better ship to do the spy sat mission. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the mission doesn't pay out as much as you can make just doing the game. Uh, the game itself allows you to kind of bypass the missions. The missions are kind of like a, uh, I don't know. Galatia, okay. Uh, I'd like to see you do this run. Have, are you also a streamer? I'm curious uh, if you're streaming because I'd like to follow you since you followed me. Uh, I'm gonna check you out because uh, I'm, I'm new to all this. I'm really a watcher. I'm a, just a Twitch watcher. <laughs> I just watch, I, and I've been watching more Twitch than YouTube or HBO or you know Amazon Prime or any of that. I just find myself going back to Twitch, and so I just recently, a month ago or so, bought the first computer I've ever had capable of actually streaming. Uh, a heavy game like Subnautica, uh, or which was really the game I wanted to play. Well, I just wanted to play Subnautica. That's why I bought this nice computer. But the computer can also stream, so it's turning me into a streamer. But I'm my goal here is to show the world you uh, what I've been up to and, and how I kind of roll. And, and it may be nothing new. It's probably very noobish, but yeah, I, I'm a viewer turned streamer. And, and as of, you know, 40 some odd days ago. So I, I appreciate you giving me, you know, that, that you're here, that I'm somehow entertaining you. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not even an affiliate. I'm like 
at the lowest level possible. I'm just a, you know, just a guy who pushed the record button. Start streaming button. I'm not even recording. I, what I do is Twitch records it for me. And so I can go in and see the, all of the past broadcasts. It, it stores like a month worth or so. And then I export that to my YouTube account. Oops, I dinged the mic. And then the YouTube account saves it eternally. So my goal is just to save it. I didn't realize that until like, I don't know, 15 or so days into it, maybe more. And so uh, the first few streams I did are lost to time, which I kind of regret. But there wasn't really anything to see. I'm, I am not a professional streamer yet. But I did just make 700 bucks, which was a lot for what I have. I'm going to sell some of my fuel, too. Make even more. Now we're at 3,000, so I just gained 1,000 bucks. And I can buy some of this stuff. Is there anyone in this system who wants this? Nova wants it at 85. What about this? Anybody in the system? No. This, no. This? In the system, no. Tribacina for 41. So it's this, it's luxury goods. So we're gonna load up and then come right back here, <laughs> basically, is what's gonna happen. Because I wanna be able to afford, I wanna be able to buy ships. The ship I have right now is garbage. I wanna be able to at least defend myself or get out of combat. And the kite, the kite is fast. The kite will get out of combat. The kite is good at getting out of combat, but the kite can die. I need something that can blink out of the combat. So like the wolf, the wolf is a good starting ship for just a single commander, because you can just blink around and get out of danger. Basically, you can retreat fast enough when you get attacked by the police. Okay, well, I actually wanted all that. So I've maxed out my storage, which was my issue. Now we're leaving this area. And we're going to the Nova. That was the place that I wanted this. Very slowly at first, speed up time. Oh, I don't want to be able to... It's asking me to hold it down. I want to just not hold it down. Boost now. Where is best for what? Where is best sail? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I'm not going to go to the best sail area in total, but the best sail area in this one little solar system was Nova. For, for that one thing. I, I'm just doing, ah, here we go. Nod to the Concern Man. This right here is is a uh, important thing. So one of the advantages of taking the added bar missions is that you're gonna get more of these concerned people that you can nod at. And they're gonna offer me all this stuff for this amount of credits, but I can just take this stuff immediately and sell it <laughs> and make a profit. But this guy's gonna hate me, and he's not gonna. He, he, I'm gonna lose reputation with the independents when I do this. But I'm gonna gain money right off the bat. So I'm gonna accept that, even though I'm already full. I now have over. I'm over full. I don't want to strike a conversation, and I don't want to talk to these people. I don't need marines right now. Now I'm overloaded by a lot. I'm super overloaded. Let's go to the black market. Where is this valuable at? Basically nowhere. So we're just gonna sell it right here. And we're selling this right here too. So we started at $2,000 and we already are gonna have 14. We're at 400 right now. Well, they won't even buy all that stuff. Wow, okay. Oh, oh I see why they didn't. Uh, it stopped it at my maximum. That's why it kind of did all. Like, whatever that's called, a uh, a truncation. Confirm. So we don't want any of that stuff right now. Yeah, this is just kind of a free one little thing that's easy to do: buy and sell. Uh, let's see what their things are here. Garbage, garbage, garbage. We don't want any of that. So now we have a lot of money. Now we're at 23. We had $2,000. Now we have $23,000. Dollars. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get them dollars. 
Let's check the black market. The hammerhead is okay, but we can't afford that. But the wolf, we can afford a wolf with our 23. The wolf is what we were talking about, but these are high tech wolves. They're more expensive than the regular wolf. This is the only one really worth buying right now because it doesn't have the D mods. I don't think it's worth, I don't think it's worth. We could get the gas can. These gas cans don't have any uh, D mods on them. I think we're gonna get a gas can. What's in the regular open market? Yeah, I think I might get a dram. I, I kind of wanted to get one of these, but I can't afford it. This is way superior to the dram, but... We're, we are still just level one. We're basically a scum lord right now. Ah, this. Hermes. Uh, one of my tricks when I'm just starting out is I look for ships that have an effective cost ratio for crew to cargo cost ratio. So... This, uh, the Hermes shuttle, let's look at its little thing here, where the, the cargo capacity is 50, but the m minimum crew, skeleton crew, is a plus one at 30. This is really one of the best cargo ships you can get early on, is the Hermes, because it gives you this crazy rate of like 2 to 1, or whatever, 3 to 50 is our current rate with this, but even though it has all these D mods, it's still a good buy for us. So we're going to buy this for our cargo ship, I believe. I don't see a better cargo ship here. And then we'll buy a better DRAM on the other side. Well, actually, let's go back to the black. Do we have a Hermes here? We don't have a shuttle here. We just have these hounds. The hounds are okay, but the hounds have a 10 skeleton crew. When you start out, it's the crew that costs your monthly wage. So you don't want crew. You want to avoid crew as long as possible. So, I'm going to take a dram. Yeah. We can be buying and selling gas, which is what we're going to do. So, we lost most of our money. We lost half of our money buying that dram. We're going to have to get some crew. So, inventory. We need how many? We need five. Okay. So we have seven crew members now. Oh, they're having a party. And then fuel was expensive at Kansas Den and regular priced here. So, we buy here, and we go sell it. That's how that's gonna work. Same with supplies. What else did they want? They wanted, um, they wanted these, harvested organs. Can we afford that? Nope. Let's just go with supplies. I can't even afford all that, okay. What can I afford? 7,000 worth. I can, and I may, but give me a second here. I'm not too interested in starting out doing missions, because missions are more, or not I don't want to say more oriented, but they are oriented on reputation, and I'm not too worried about reputation getting right at the start. I'm really worried about building up a little fleet, like a little, ah, that's true. That's true. Uh, any sort of exploring will have free ships. But Galatia is where the tutorial starts, right? Am I right? Um, and they basically hand you those free ships. That, and that's a good idea to go there. Uh, one, one of the things I like to do is pick a fight with the hegemony. And then pick another fight. And then pick another fight. And then eventually in the in the campaign process, in the regular process when you're trying to unlock the warp gates, uh, you have to talk to the hegemony leader. I forgot. He's like some black guy. I forget what his name is. And when you deal with that little part, that guy restores your standing with the hegemony. He forgives any debt. So I like to be in very bad standing with the hegemony when I get to that stage and kind of take advantage of that little story twist of turn, twist of fate. Uh, we, let's do a repair. Two supplies? Yeah, we have a ton of supplies. Uh, let's look at what we got here. We got fuel and supplies. On the black market, we can buy more supplies. Oh, what we want to do is spend our ordinance here on the expanded cargo holds and more fuel tanks. And then something that moves faster. And then if it blows up, we get it back. That's nice. And then we just vent the rest. Whatever. We're gonna sell this vehicle. 
What should we name the dram? It's your responsibility to come up with a name here, Adion. My number one. We don't know the person here. Fuelish. Oh, that's good. That's that's good, man. I like I, I like how you roll. Did I spell it the way you spelled it? Nope. Oh, I botched the F E U. Let's give it a number too. So fuelish. Um. Fuelish seventy nine. No. Fuelish thirteen. Fuelish one. It's the first fuelish. That makes sense. Fuelish one. Okay, I like that. And then the ADM. I, I kind of don't. I don't want this being ADM for too long. But this is just the beginner shuttle. <laughs> I I only named that after you because you started talking. But we're, okay, we're done here. So back, and then we're done trading. We're done trading. Block market. No, we can. Yeah, we are done trading. Yeah, we're we're going. To. We're gonna go back to Kanta and sell all this crap because <laughs> Kanta needs it. So we're helping out our pirate overlords. I want to speed this up. You know what? I have to do this. Settings. Settings. Yeah, toggle. This is it. Campaign speed up time is a toggle. That's what was uh, that a problem with. This is good. All, all, I guess the sound and volume is good to you. Everything sounds fine to me. Save. There we go. Yeah, I, I just want to be able to speed up the time here. We're going to Kanta. Okay, we're going dark so we don't bump into a rock and have to pay for that. I'm gonna scratch my paint job. Okay, let's check the bar here. Same, same deal. Nothing good. Black market. They really wanted the fuel, so let's save 15 fuel for ourselves and ditch the rest. Same story here. Save 10 supplies, ditch the rest. We're back to where we started. We're at 25. We're at 26. Okay. What, what type of uh, craft do they have for us to buy? They have, a, they have the wolf, but it's a piece of crap. They have the Hermes, but it's also a piece of crap. Black market. Can't afford these nicer ships just yet. I'm down here with all these kites. Okay, I, what I want is more storage. So we're gonna go with like one of these things. This is a, there we go, Skeleton Crew 1, cargo capacity 20. That is such a crazy efficient deal for crew to cargo. So here, skeleton is 2, cargo is 30. So it's still not as good as 1 to 20. It's, this is a, like 1 to 15. So we get, we get the mercury. And we can afford a number of vessels here. So we can get us another mercury. But this one has a cargo impediment. So it's the same rate as a kite. But the kite can have a gun on it. So we're going to get the kites. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. The gas giant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sensor pulse. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I've colonized a number of stuff. I usually don't colonize gas giants. Um, the main issue, as you move on, when you start getting raided by all these other factions and remnants and stuff, is that the gas giant cannot have a... Um, planetary shield. The planetary shield adds a multiplier to your defense for your ground defense. It's not too big of a deal if you have a system that's already populated with other colonies because the roaming ships that come from the other planets can kind of guard that um, gas giant. But I, I know what you're saying. It does have a nice magnetic field feature. The, the, and there's other advantages to having the gas giant too because the fuel is actually the one of the most valuable resources. The um, I forgot what they call that blue gas and the uh, the fuel are, are very valuable. Okay, so uh, I just want to keep going here. Trade. We've traded. We have bought some ships. We need we need crew. We need another ship. Buy. The Hermes here. What? 
3 to 38. This is even a worse deal. Mud Skipper, 7 to 53. So all of this is bad. I don't want any of these. These are all bad too. I basically, I just want to build up money here right at the first. It's, it's not going to take too long. And this is kind of my status. And then I jump into the quests and stuff later. Right now, I don't exactly need to get all the ships and stuff, but I do I do know what you're saying. You can like acquire these ships for basically free and then just go sell them or do whatever you want with them. S salvage them. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a break here in a minute. I need more liquid. But I wanna wrap up buying some kites. So we're gonna get this one. I wanna get the kites with the fewest D mods possible. So these two only have two D mods. Make sure they're not horrid. Fuel injector or degraded engine, that's fine. This one. Compromise hull, yeah, oh, that's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here. We need more crew. We need 13 total. So black market, five more. Good on crew. Get this guy at the back. My kite at the back. I like to captain the back vessels with my main guy because I'm crazy like that. Uh, this guy doesn't have any weapons either. These are our weapon vessels. So refit. Let's add a weapon on our weapon vessels. This is our first weapon of the entire game. What should it be? I'm thinking maybe machine gun point defense. Light duel. Let's start with this. This is this one's more badass than the regular light machine gun. We're getting a machine gun. We're getting two thirty cows strapped to a space craft. We're, we're attaching World War II weaponry to a spacecraft. <laughs> what? This is not a good idea. Okay, we're, we're not gonna get any missiles just yet. Um. What we want on all of our ships is just functionality, really. We, that That is really just a meme. I'm just memeing with the gun. It's, it's just kind of funny to have a gun. I want the cargo. I want fuel tanks. Bulkheads. Move faster. And distribute flux. Can't even afford that. Okay. And then what I actually want to do is auto fit. We'll call this custom. We'll say cancel because it's already got what it is. And then this next one, we can just do auto fit custom. Confirm. Easy. It has the same exact everything. That was easy. And then this one, we don't need to auto fit. Let me just add. Expanded. Fuel tank. Reinforced. Unstable. And then everything else goes in vents. Go back. And then we're done. That was easy. This already has that. This already has that. Okay. I've alt tabbed. Now I'm back in the game. Okay, we're done here. So, now we're, we're remaining money. We have 13k left. Which is a lot more money than we started. We started with 2,000 bucks. So we're going to buy some more of whatever people will buy. I think Nortia is this. It's luxury goods. Abort that. So black market luxury goods. We're going to afford 13k worth. From. Leave. And just go right back to Nova. Uh, the problem with going for a jackhammer or any sort of like weaponry, and really I shouldn't have gone for the uh, even the double machine gunners. Oh, don't kill me. What is this guy? I like to be able to kill these guys. Especially the neutrals. The neutrals, the independent, I find, are some of the best whatever, vessels to kill. So here we go, we're back here, we're going to trade, black market. We did lose a number of supplies, we've lost 5 supplies repairing all of our stuff. But we we get 93 per unit instead of 85, it said 85 on the whatever on the thing. So we just made a ton of buku money doing that, to sort our stuff here. And it's the same story, we're just going to go back and forth here a little bit. Take all the fuel. I'll do it first, and then the supplies. We're in the black market, so we're not paying taxes. We're just going to do this a little bit here. We've already checked the vessels they have, and they don't have anything. Whoa, I hit a rock. The 
this little going back and forth is easy. Uh, but the problem is they will change their prices and they will run out of stock. So this doesn't this doesn't work for very long, which is one of the reasons why I like to do this, kind of get it over with. So he still wants all of this. The Cantha person is so bad at managing their fuel supplies. See, we're, we're rolling. We're already at 50 now. And we're basically doubling our value every time we do this. Uh, and if you do the missions, you get like 50k one time. And so I'm already at 50k, so it's sort of like I've done a mission. Just going right back and forth. And I, I haven't had to risk getting into combat, which is kind of crucial for what I'm doing. Any, any flub up and I'm just totally dead. Okay, so let's look at this. Anybody want this in the system? Tribacina. For double. I can double the value of that. Or for 37 to 85. I'm like tripling the value of this. Almost triple. It's this again. Okay. We're not paying taxes. Confirm. So now we're maxed out on our storage. So we want to buy more ships. We can afford the mule already. That's how rich we are. Just doing kites and crap. What's this guy look like? Two and thirty. Uh, let's get this. What about this guy? Three and thirty. Not as good. That's the same as this. Well, maybe we start with them. We can afford. This is some BS crap down here, so we're just gonna get this thing. And then we're gonna go here. Actually, we need our crew. So we're up to 20 crew. Really, we're trying to avoid getting crew. Okay, we're at 20 crew. And then black market, we can sell more. Oh no, we're buying that, I see, yeah. And then we want to refit this. Auto fit, custom. Auto fit, custom. Oh, we already have a Hermes. Is that a Hermes? It's a Mercury. Mercury, auto fit, set, custom. Cancel, go down here. Auto fit, custom, there it is. I, I, I like, I really, once I learned how to do that auto fit business, oh, that made my life so much more pleasurable at the screen. Oh my goodness, okay. Back to the game, exit out of here, trade. Now I can, aff I, I basically, I was maxed out at 412 supply. Now I can hold 648. So we buy more of this luxury good. We still afford it. Why didn't it sell me all of it? Ah, because now it's no longer such a great deal. Let's, let's keep getting it though. Well, I don't know. Maybe we, get, we go into drugs now. 95 per unit. Okay, confirm. Let's go sell. We're keeping some money for unforeseen consequences. I have a stories point to spend. Oh, but that's not a uh, skill point. I, want, I need a skill point. I can hit C to C. No, not a story point. A story point will let me get out of a fight if I, have to, if I can get into a fight real quick. Prepare my ship. I prepare everything. Trade. Let's get rid of this stuff. For 77. No longer 80 or 90. Or 68 for all of that. But still, we're doing good. 142. We paid 90 something for it. For the drugs. Great deal. We're back at 56. So, we're gonna buy more supplies. We're gonna buy more fuel. Confirm both of those. What else do you have that's cheap here? Your luxury goods are so cheap because I keep selling them here. That's funny. Ah, harvested organs. Kansas didn't really want those. Let's buy those. I can't afford them. Okay. Back to Kansas. We're basically supplying the pirates because nobody else will. Nobody wants to just buy a ship and just fly it around. They don't like the idea of running into rocks with their shields. 
Okay, we have a concerned man. They have a supply of volatiles. They want to get rid of. They want me to buy this. I don't want to buy this. I don't want to buy illegal stuff. I just want to sell this for a huge profit. Doubling my money almost. That was really good. As well as these. I was buying them at 80. Selling them at 134. Karis has the highest price on that. Let's keep some. Let's keep 40. Now we're rolling. 77. Sell some of this fuel too. That's a good question. Um, less since I just sold most of my fuel. But I don't need to fly too far. I'm really just kind of cruising around the coral worlds. Probably going to go to Galatia, like you say, and check out those free vessels. Because free is free. I mean, you can't argue with free. I don't want storage. I don't want to pay. Never mind. I just like to click buttons. It gets me into trouble. I want to sort. What I wanted to do was sort. So our Kansas Den, where these are cheap, these are cheap. Who really wants these? Umbra and Esconia. We could fly up to Esconia and make a killing. We triple our money, almost quadruple our money. That sounds like a good deal. Who wants this stuff? We could quadruple our money at Lost Astropolis. That also sounds like a good a good plan. Umbra or Lost Astropolis. Hmm. Which is closer? Let's hit uh, O. Is it O? It's Q. What's map? Yeah. I'm forgetting all my buttons. Uh, da, da, da. Tab? It's tab. Okay. And then Q in the tab screen. So. Here's Esconia, where Umbra is. The other place, Lost Astropolis. It is up here? Where is that? Here it is. So Esconia is closer. We, do, we could possibly do both. Hit Umbra first, and then go to this. You want us to go to Galatia, where Ankara, the Dinku mining station, and this is the one of the traditional starts places. You start out right around here, here. And also the Galatia, whatever, um, what the science place? The science guys? <laughs> the, the whole mission about getting all the warp gates open is all in Galatia. So I'll have to go there eventually. So it does make sense to go there. Mayasura. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're asking me, what was my range for flying? <laughs> Mayasura, it was basically the range, yeah. I'm stuck out of the game. Where's the F? Fuel range. Oh, I can't even fly that far. So, I can't even fly to Esconia. I'm going to have to buy fuel to get anywhere. I can't even get out of the system. I could get to this system. I don't want to go there, though. So, I'm at Cantus, and I want to buy ships, maybe. What do we have here? This is a piece of crap. Everything they have is crap at Cantus. I remember that. Open market, black market, so let me crap here on the black market. Crap, 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 crap. So we just want to buy supplies here. Let's buy these first, the domestic goods. We can full up on that. Well, we also want to buy, uh, we don't want to full up on that. We want to go to another tab. System W. Okay. We might want to go to Tribacina and sell some stuff there and buy fuel here at Tribacina. I think that's that's the plan. So trade. That's valuable at Tribacina. This. This is good. Okay. So we do want this. Abort black market though. Confirm. would be. I don't like allying with the pirates because that is like a huge reputation suffering. Like you really suffer. Uh oh. This guy might come. I forget how old they are with that. The Tribacinas, these guys are cool. They don't care if uh, yeah, this guy, he doesn't know what he's doing. Okay. We can trade. Black market. 
43. Yeah, we're doubling our value here. That's fine. What we want here is the fuel. Boosh. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Now we can go anywhere. We still have a ton of money. Let's see what ships they have. Ah, Tempests. Tempests are really good, but it's a piece of crap. Brawlers can last a while, but they're not as good as Tempest in terms of killing power. Tempest is just so strong for a little craft. I think we're going to have to buy these little shuttles just for the uh, cargo. Okay. Do you get another dram? I could get a salvage rig. Ah, here's our tanker. This is the tanker we really want. We're going to let it slide right now because gas is not a priority. Oh, I need uh, crew members. Black market, three. I can afford three. It's not a problem. I really love these tritons. I don't tempted to buy them now, but that would be foolish. Definitely cannot afford that. Is there anything that's... Yeah, that's a probably a good idea. I might go back to Kansas then and sell the supplies there. The supplies are still very valuable. I don't want to pay that. I keep clicking that. I want to... This is what I want to do. If I... I'm, I'm not... I don't think I want to get the salvage gantry just yet. I'm tempted to, but not just yet. I want to go back. Auto fit. I can't auto fit this. Oh. What's up, first time chatter? Karma Chimera. Karma Chimera. That's a cool name. Streaming is going well. Thank you for asking. How are you doing today? Question to you. While I figure out my vessels here. Can I auto-fit this guy? I can. I want to find another Hermes. Well, that's good. You're not dead yet. There is only one other option, and that is to die. So, you better cling. Cling while clinging's good, if you follow my drift. <laughs> I've, uh, yeah, but you know, you, you know what I'm saying. Why followers only? Uh, I don't know. I guess I was just messing with people because I didn't put a time limit on the amount of time that it takes for someone who clicks the follow button to chat. But you have to follow in order to chat. But then you can just click on follow. I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. I think I was just trolling people. I'm a little bit of a troll. I don't want it the standard on this. So we're canceling out of all that. I, I have to manually do this one. Is the deal. That's why I'm hit a brick wall right here. Is I have to manually do something. We want cargo holds, fuel tanks, reinforce, and speed. And that leaves us with enough for some things. That's fine. Go back. And then we do auto fit custom. And so the next time we get a Hermes, we can just click that easily. So, now we escape out of here, repair, trade. We have fuel. And like you were saying, we want supplies. What's going on? Try the scene. They don't have supplies. Oh, I've clicked something. All oh, there we go. They do have supplies. Encanta's then. They don't they still want this? Karis wants this. Thule and Raider Base wants this. I don't want too many supplies then. I'll take a few more. Get up to a hundred or so. What I want is something that sells. I, I need to go back to Kanta's Den, so let's max out on supplies and max out on fuel. We did. What about crew? We have cheap crew here. Let's get a little extra crew. We can afford it now. We've got all extra butter to spread around. Cheddar. We've got extra cheddar for our macaroni and cheese. Okay. You haven't gotten that answer before? Yeah. Yep. Ah, I have not been harassed yet. My, uh, I'm using a speech to, to chat, text to chat, or text to speech, and it's like a Google English lady, so she pronounces it harassed. Uh, and but no, I haven't been harassed yet. But I do get some of the spam botters that want me to join a Discord. They want me to friend them in Discord so that they can sell me their thing that they're selling. And um, I, that's cool. I, I, I don't mind that people want to just come in, e even if it's just a bot. 
I'll talk to a bot. If a bot wants to talk to me, sure, I'll talk. <laughs> but I, I'm also just brand new, so I'm just kind of seeing what's out there. If if any of that becomes a problem, I'll set the time limit for follower only to chat to like 10 minute or whatever. But yeah, I'm, I'm still playing with all the little settings and just, this is kind of my first go at it. I'm just, uh, whatever, 40, 50 days into this. Almost 50. I'm almost 50. All right, let's do, we have some crew. We have some supplies. We have some fuel. We could get more stuff. What other ships? We, we want to look at the salvage. The problem with the salvage rig is it has D mods. If I want to buy a new ship, I don't want D mods on it. That's the problem with this Tempest. This is loaded with D mods. Now, right when I start out, I don't want the D mods, but later on, I do want the D mods. Okay, cancel. Never mind. Let's say never mind. Ah, here's a perfect kite. Let's take a perfect kite. And. Auto fit, custom. It gave me a Vulcan cannon. Okay, that's fine. And we have even more storage now. We're, we're taking all these little crap ships for storage. We're gonna go to Kansas. As long as we don't get plucked by these guys. What was the question again? Am I a re returning player? I am a returning player. I have played a number of this. Uh, next stop after Kansas Den is gonna be, I think, Karis to sell whatever I buy here at Kanto's Den, and then from Karis go probably to Galatia, like what you're talking about, and get those ships, talk to the science people at the Science Galatia station, and then go from there. Good question. So they're in a fight here. Sometimes after the fight, the prices of goods take a hit or just get better. Sometimes the prices will just change instantly and you just get screwed. Oh yeah, what is my stream title? Oh yeah, I, I was prepping a Star Sector run. Now I'm running a Star Sector run. Running a Star Sector run. There we go. And before I was prepping, I spent like, I spent like 30 minutes prepping. Uh, I want to abort this, it's somehow to sell all of that. I don't want to sell all of that. I want to keep, oh, let's keep about 100 supplies and sell the rest. Well, I'm not getting a good deal for that, though. That's a crappy deal. Abort. Who else wants these? Karis wants these. All right, we're, we're taking that to Karis. You do want the fuel, though, so I want to leave enough fuel for me to travel. Let's leave 200. We probably don't even need 200. Let's leave 100 fuel. Okay, stop, 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 sort. Black market, we are in. Now we buy. We buy whatever Karis wanted. Not what Lost wanted, but what Karis wanted. Umbra wanted. We're going to Umbra. Never mind. He's saying Karis. We want Umbra. Yeah, look at the price on that. 72. So, I should be able to hold a lot of this stuff. I can. I'll 600. I want to be able to hold more. Abort. I think I can make more money with the drugs, right? Probably make more money with the drugs. We go to Lost Astropolis right away. I'm gonna quadruple this amount. And I have the correct amount of storage to hold all this, so I think this is good for me. Let's do that. And then this, oh, what else can we buy? Luxury goods we've already bought, so we can no longer get a deal on the luxury goods. Uh, I'm looking for deals and then to sell. So if we'll load up the rest of our cargo here with the domestic goods, so confirm. That leaves us with 15k. We started in this solar system with $2,000, with 2k. We're leaving with 15k, a ton of ships, a ton of everything, and that's all because of Kansas Den. We went to Kansas Den and they have deals on luxury goods, recreational drugs, and domestic goods, and they really want to buy the harvested organs, supplies, and gas, and fuel. So. You just do a little buying and trading, and you, you're set. You're you're in the game. But if you don't know that, ha ha, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. You gotta be in the know. So what I'm gonna do here is take a little break. My uh, throat's getting a little throaty. And uh, remnant level ancient. What does remnant ancient level ancient? Well, let me ask you. How old 
are the remnants. I'm not that old, of course, obviously. My, my neck isn't that, like, saggy just yet. I'm basically 400,000 years old and I have no supplies. It keeps wanting to sell all my supplies. I don't want to sell all my stuff. Sort. I want to sort my stuff. Okay, this is what we want. Let's look at the ships. All right. Can I buy a cool ship? Do I want to have? No. Black market? No. None of these ships are in here. Okay. I'm going to leave. And then... Take my break. I'm only being gone for like three minutes. I have a bunch of... I basically run a restaurant for squirrels and crows and little birds. And big birds. Uh, and that attracts cats and dogs. I just have a plethora of animals in my backyard. And I mean that plethora. It's like too many to count. Uh, and so I gotta go pay attention to them and see what's up with them. If I don't, if they get mad, they'll just start chewing through my house. <laughs> like, break in for the peanuts. And I'm trying to avoid that. That would probably take a few months to achieve, but... Uninformative. <laughs> well, well, welcome in. Well, welcome. Karma Chimera, you have found the master of uninformative bullshittery. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not the master, but uh, I'm pretty good at it. I can, I can switch my side. Here, check this out. This is what I'm capable of. I can switch the side that my camera is on. I switch the scene, but the scene shows the same thing. So, uh, what I'll do, I'll, let me take you to a new scene. Or we were looking at this in uh, Firefox. I want to create a new element. Because I'm, I'm new to streaming Star Sector. I'm new to streaming. I'm new to. I'm not really so new to Star Sector. I've been playing Star Sector for like two years. I want to say, not not super long. Uh, let's go to. I want to hide this, the uh, Firefox screen, and I want to add in a new game capture called Star Sector Warped. S T A R S E sector warped and then say OK and then capture specific window window is star sector the audio there it is but then ah that's what you think nah but see uh, the true master uh, what you see in a guru is a trickster. The man who is pretending to be the teacher is is allowing students to come to him on his mountain and ask him, well, how do I become this? How do I achieve this? Never fully understanding that they hold all the secrets themselves within themselves. And so they play the role of the guru until the student realizes that the guru is just playing a role. And that's when the charade ends. When the student realizes that they are already and have always been at the same level the guru is at. I really like that concept. Uh, Alan Watts it, it turned me on to that. If you're a fan of Alan Watts, if you're a fan of that whole uh, Eastern philosophy, he's a master at explaining that stuff. Uh, what I want to do is filter this and add a 3D effect. Rotating our Y 5 degrees or so. Six, let's do 5 degrees. Field of view goes up to about 100 or so. Close. And then that angles it. And then we shrink it down so it's just onto our... Just a little bit bigger than the monitor. And just fit it right in there. <laughs> there we go. You can see my drop frames for the stream up top. That's what this is. Move that over a little bit. Yeah, it was fine where it was. Uh, yeah. So this is my cozy setup. Welcome on in. Have a seat. And make yourself comfortable at our at our scene here. You, I have no idea what's going on either. What I'm going to do is go to the bathroom <laughs> and get something to drink and then come right back. It's going to take me like five minutes. Uh, you're welcome to stay, you're welcome to get a drink yourself, you're welcome to leave. Uh, what you see here is nothing professional. <laughs> uh, I'm not reliant on your subscription or your follow or your whatever. 
Uh, I'm just a man who pushed the record button on the, on the machine. I bought a really nice, fancy machine, and it's the first time I've ever been able to play Subnautica. And I really just wanted to play Subnautica. It turns out I can now stream Subnautica, and when I do, my computer's... Uh, I can look at the Process Explorer, and the computer doesn't even recognize that the game is hardly even being played. Uh, the graphics card for this machine that I bought is like the size of a child's arm. <laughs> it's just ridiculously huge. Uh, the computer has nine six-inch fans. The fans are all giant, like giant fans, and it's got nine of them. It has two on top, one in the back, three in front, and three on the graphics card. The graphics card is that big. It's just like three giant fans. And the graphics card's liquid cooled. I've never even experienced this before. Uh, so I'm gonna be in heaven for the next few years with this computer. And I figured I would stream. I never streamed before. I figured I'd stream what I'm doing to Twitch. Maybe someone on Twitch or YouTube would figure out that what I'm doing is what they're doing or is irrelevant to what they're doing. And Maybe they want to watch. So that's why I'm here. Figured I'd give you the little explanation while you're still here. But I'm going to take a little break. I got to... My throat's going dry. Look at my water supply. It's getting low. My water. And my Vitamix... My Vitamix immersion blender cup. It's getting low, you see. It's got even marcation for liquids. I'm dying here. I'm dying. <laughs> right back. Achieve the water. The water's now filled up to the maximum. I'm gonna get a soda. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm not done being back. I'll be back. Look, I even have a thing for being back. Check this out. Be right back.
I'm back. That you have no idea what's even going on. You can talk to me about the game. A real master. <laughs> uh, I've I've questioned your entire uh, understanding of reality with my whole guru metaphor. Well, I'm back. I uh, besides the water, I've also achieved Zevia. Doctor Zevia to the rescue. It's prune flavor. Doctor Pepper is prunes, by the way, if you didn't already know. So I'm drinking a Zevia here. Ooh. So nice. But my trick is to get a little bit of water, pour that into the cup. Galatia is soon. Galatia is sooner than you think. I was thinking about Galatia when I was feeding my squirrels in the backyard. There was three squirrels, a blue jay, and some little birds that wanted nothing to do with me in my backyard. And I, I made sure all of them have food. I also have this Z-Bar. This is my uh, snack. Chocolate chip Z-Bar. It's, it's a kid product, but I, I'm a, just a big kid, basically. So I eat it. Okay, let's go back into the game. Uh, I, I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long. Let's get out of here. We don't have our hyperdrive thing, so we can't just pop out of the solar system. We have to go to one of these little blue dots, white dots, jump points, they're called. We are. We now have three story points. Do we have a uh, skill point? No skill point. We want a skill point. Here's our range. Now we can make it to Myasira, like you were saying. But we want to go to Umbra. This is where we're headed. This is where the deal was. Save and exit. No, 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 no. I can save it? Oh, I can save it. I just can't load it. Yeah, we'll do a save real quick. Return the game. You do want to save it in case anything happens, some unforeseen crash, power goes out or something. A good save discipline this one. Anytime you do something you would hate to repeat, go ahead and save it. Okay, let's look at this on the map and see where Umbra is and go there. So it's going to send us to one of these and we're going to have to fly all that way. That's a big pain in the butt. You can't just go there and use my spell. Transponder. They will be pissed if we don't burn our way down there. I might have to check out what else is in Esconia before I go to Galatia. But the idea is to go to Galatia. What mods will I get? What do you mean, what mods? Oh, for the vessels? Uh. I usually try to go at first for the insulated engines, insulated, uh, so that the other enemies cannot see my vessels. The, the little ring that's around your ship shrinks when you use the insulated en engines. But also, um, oh, you're talking about faction mods. Oh, um, that's a good question. We could look at that and talk about faction mods if you'd like because for my next playthrough I want to add in probably like at least 10 other factions right now I'm adding in no factions but in the future I want to add in one of my favorites is junkyard uh, those guys are awesome I like their enterprise looking ship uh, as well as their supply ships are great um, what other factions are great uh, there's there's a number of factions that I've tried that are really good, but I tried them in the past and some they're different now. I noticed that the factions in the mod list now it seems like there's fewer, but there's still just a bajillion to choose from. What kind of player? Um, that's a good question. I tend to go for a mix of things. I tend to go for the strongest tactic, um, but what that ends up being are usually the other faction's weapons. So one reason why I like to do the vanilla is because it keeps it pretty uh, maintained in like a bubble. When you add in another faction, their ships or their weapons can be so overpowered that you just take over the whole universe before you even know it. No other you know, unit, even the remnants, don't stand a chance. But uh, the way I do it is kind of just slowly increasing. When I get to like the onslaught level, I'm feeling good. 
and I'll get like one or two of the uh, onslaught big ass battle cruisers. But then I, I like usually I like to go with the um, the little ships, the little carrier ships that have the uh, flight wings that fly around and buzz around. I find that those are the most powerful. Uh, that if you have all these carriers and they can just assault their their enemies from they're basically grouping up. They're able to extend their attack range so that it overlaps in a large portion and so you just do more damage faster. So I guess that's what you mean by that question? Not, not 100% sure. Uh, okay, what do we have here? I have effed up and let the pirates come, come and get me. I don't want to fight these guys. I could use a story point to get out of this. I wasn't sure what was happening. Oh, I've come up here to Karis. I just let that happen. I, I uh, didn't pause it while I was going there. So let's just attempt to disengage. They're not having any part of that. They're going to chase me. Okay. So you, you guys are going to get to see my dram get totally wrecked here. <laughs> we're going to do a full retreat, which means we got to go all the way this way, which means the dram is just never going to make it. But I do have the reinforced bulkheads on the dram. Let's do you and do full retreat. Yeah, full retreat. I could try to capture one of these points because that affects the uh, enemy AI. Autopilot's disabled. Yeah, well, I don't want to. Okay, it's not letting me do that for some reason. Usually it will let me do that. Oh, I don't have any more command points. <laughs> I've spent all my command points. Okay, so. We're doing good, actually. Look at how fast that dram is going. Oh my god. It's moving. Let's speed this up. We're getting assaulted from the side. That's not good. Oh, they cannot even get close to us. Get out of dodge. Let's see what's happening. Look how fast my dram's going. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Good luck. It's fast. I didn't think it would be that fast. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. See ya. You tried, but you didn't succeed. So I thought I was gonna lose a vessel because I have my negligence. But uh, they're just gonna I'm just gonna lose a little bit of uh, hull damage. I think that is what they do. Uh, oh, I need to I have my thing still turned on. That's also why. Here we go. Now we just wanna trade. I'm bringing them supplies. They wanted to steal the supplies from me. Yeah. Did I get some XP? That's good. Because uh, uh, I have nothing to really attack them with but light machine guns, which are <laughs> point defense weapons. So let's sell all this. We're making hella profit. We bought these for like 20 per unit. We're selling for 80 per unit. That's okay. But it's not a lot. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we really want to go to loss to sell this stuff. I don't want to sell this stuff here. So, what can we buy here that's cheap? We can buy some fuel. That's a fair price on fuel. We'll buy a lot of fuel. Crew, heavy machine, anything that's well priced. Not that. Definitely not that. None of this is well priced. Okay. So, it's a. Maybe these? Converted fire bay? No. no. Ah, the buffaloes. This is the storage, the cargo vessel that's really good, but it has issues with the D mod, so we don't want that ship. But we, you get a few of these buffaloes in your best in your fleet, and your your cargo capacity just skyrockets. Here we go, an afflictor. I like to get a number of afflictors in my fleet because of the passive phase field ability of hiding your your ship so it just compiles compounds the insulated in your insulated engines mod so we they have more little crap ships for us to buy I don't think we really want crap ships anymore we want to start getting like wolves and things like that we're, we're already at that level but they don't have much for us here this is just not a good place to buy so we just mark it here. We're done with the market, I think, as well. Maybe we get a few more supplies. Where are we going? We're going to Karis. 
he wants this at 140, so we might as well get more supply. No, we're not. We're going to this place. Lost Astropolis. Astropolis. However you say it. I'm terrible at pronunciation. Sometimes. Okay. So, let's just get out of here. What's, um, what's, what's going on at the bar? Thoughtful looking smuggler. We can't afford any... We don't have a colony. The thoughtful stuff is all about having a colony. Concerned people. Yes. Oh, they want me to buy this stuff from Karis. You know what? I could buy this, actually. Let's do this. Let's accept this person's thing. Because that's not a lot of money. And we can sell this, these organics somewhere else. Do that. Oh, I thought that we were going to Karis, but we're not actually going there. So we have 60 days, and if I don't do that, it's not a big deal. What do you say? Esconia fuel? That's a good point. Yeah. This is true. About the, uh, the sonic speed. The Shepherd does have a salvage gantry. Ah, I didn't even consider that. Uh, I'm not going to do too much salvaging right off the bat. Um, when I go to Galatia, I will need some more salvaging ability. But I don't want to just rush right into that. Because... It requires crew to have the salvaging thing. I just want to sell this stuff and get some more money and, and get a little bit better ships. So they don't have anything for me here. So I just want to get out of here. We could check Cinderia. Oh, I really don't want to fight these guys again. Oh, shit, he's going to let me fight them. I want to do emergency burn here at the Boston Bay. He's gonna chase me, of course. And now five. Oh boy. He's gonna try to interdict me, but I'm I'm too fast for that. So now we hit our thing back on. Don't wanna mess with the relay. Hit the rock. These guys should leave me alone, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna get right here. I might uh, use their black market. I think I can turn my transponder off, sell and buy on the black market, and then get out of here before one of these little dudes catches me. Uh-oh. I've gone to the bar, and they're going to harass me here. It's a raid. I'm in a raid. Uh, I'm going to watch. I don't care. Some security officer that looks like old grandpa, Yannick. Ram, he's gonna come up to me. Um, I'll just say thank you for your service, sir. I, I'll uh, pretend that I'm one of his people. Okay, so that was nothing. Let's do a quick repair. Trade, black market. I wanna keep all that, yep. I really don't wanna get popped here, because they will take my supplies. Ooh, yeah, fuel. That was a good idea for fuel here. Anything else that's got a good price on it? Everything else is crap. I love these squalls, but I can't afford that. I don't want those. So it's the fuel. <sighs> Who wants to buy this? You know where we're going? Karis? We kind of wanted to go to Karis. I don't want that much fuel. It's just too much. <sighs> I don't have that much money to, to throw around this way. But 500 is fine. I'm not going too far out into space, so I don't need too much fuel. Just really just for selling. I don't want to <laughs> fight these people at all. Now let's just leave. Oh, I did buy that on the black market, I think. So they're going to probably change this one. Yep. Oh, well, maybe not. No, oh, he's not. Okay, good. Get out of here. They're letting me get out of here. Didn't hit a rock, that's what we're talking about. So, let's go to this and finish our idea of selling these drugs to the highest bidder. Without getting into another fight with pirates. Yep, I've already turned into a smuggler. I, I just know how valuable smuggling is, and I know how to do it, because I've done prior playthroughs. If I was a total noob, I wouldn't know this mechanic of the game. 
so I wouldn't be able to kind of cheese it a little bit. It's not necessarily cheesing, it's just taking advantage of how the game is created. And it's on purpose, like I'm not exactly abusing anything, I, I'm avoiding certain things. We don't want any of this. Trade, black market, oh yeah, we're getting lots of money. We are rolling in debt. We have 160k. That's awesome. Black market, what else can we buy here? Buying and selling, buying and selling. No thanks, no thanks. We already sold that. Okay. Expanded deck crew. This is a good mod, but we don't really need that yet. All this will come later. Here we go. What can we buy? There's a buffalo. Piece of crap. There's a nice wolf, but it's got the D mods. I don't want D mods. Not yet. Well, I could buy an eradicator. Hellfire. I don't know if I want that though. I, I want buffaloes and things like that. But also too many D mods again. It's gonna have compromised storage, which we can't afford to have. That's super bad. So again, terrible ships. I don't want any of those ships. The pirates just are known for having terrible ships. I could do. I, right now I'm just doing kind of a um, unthemed playthrough. I'm just kind of playing through it and making kind of the best decision that I want to make at the time and going from there. Uh, I'm a, I know I'm not the fastest player, but I'm going. It, it's happening. Things are in the works. We're getting places. We're going. We're going far. Uh, what we want is to buy ships. So we're going to another place that we can buy ships. Possibly Galatia. Uh, actually, let's look at their salvage rigs. That's what we really wanted. So what's the problem with this? Maintenance? Yeah. And storage. Well, that's not an issue. But the maintenance is kind of an issue. Skeleton crew required is added six crew. So it's 26 crew I have to get in order to take this vessel. Then the max crew is two. It can only house two crew, but it requires 26 people to run it. So 24 of those people have to live on other ships and go to work <laughs> on this ship. Okay, that's funny. So we don't want that one just yet. We could get this. This doesn't have any demons. But it's a piece of crap. I don't want that piece of crap in my fleet. I have enough pieces of crap as it is. Check out one of these places up here. Let's see if they haven't turned up ships. Salvage rigs, especially. I'd like to be able to fight, but that's not in my cards yet. I need to be able to turn on this. What is this? Oh, yeah. I can store stuff there. What kind of things do I want a mod to provide? Well, I do a private modded playthrough first. Huh. A pirate modded, right, right, right. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to add too many factions in right off the start. I just want to do kind of a vanilla faction playthrough. Just all the basic stuff. Let's repair our stuff. Let's I want to look at what they have here. Shield stunt, all that's garbage. Black market. Soul auto owner. Face gold, all that's garbo. Ships. Buy. We are buying. Ah, they have a wolf for me. I've been looking for the wolf. I can afford the wolf. Our first attack vessel, a wolf. I can afford even better vessels though. I'm trying to avoid the deep mods. So open market. Here we go. A buffalo. So we're at 1,000 cargo capacity right now. This thing gives us 400 plus I can add to that. Yeah, we're going to buy that. And here's our salvage rig too with no D mods. Let's buy it. We can afford to buy some stuff. I can buy one of these. But I don't need it. I think we're good what we have. Let's 
do inventory, no, C, F, that's the F that we need. So we need crew, so I. So we gotta get 20 crew. Okay, done. Now, let's look at this. You're our number one man. Refit you. Let's just buy some stuff. Oh, I don't want any of this. I'll take a Gorgon. Two Gorgons, fine. That's all we have here? <laughs> That's not good. Well, we're gonna get guns later. For now, reinforced bulkheads, the distributor, armored weapon mounts for the uh, armor, hardened subsystem so it can stay in the fight longer, and I guess this so it moves faster. No, we don't, it doesn't need to move after. That's going to be good enough. Let's max out these guys. And then we can add more guns and take out the capacitors. We don't need to F with the weapon groups. Go back to this. Refit. Add. Cargo holds. Fuel tank. Or... Well, let's go with the fuel tank. We can get uh, something else later. The... Uh, Insulated engines later. And keep it going fast. We can afford that. Okay. For eight more. Something like that. Auto fit this. Cancel. Add. Cargo hold does nothing for me. Fuel tank might help me a little bit with this. Okay. Back. We're done here. So I started at 1,000 supply cap, and now I'm at 1,700 supply caps. 700. Oh, I almost doubled my supply with just that one ship, basically. I don't want storage. Never mind. Please. Let's get back out of this. Let's captain our salvage rig. I'm one of the two people who lives on the salvage rig, and I don't do any work. <laughs> I just tell people what to do. I'm the captain. If I were to work, people would think I was the crew, and they wouldn't do what I tell them to do. So I just have to tell them what to do. Port C. Um, where do we want to go? I think we just want to go right to Galatia to see what's happening in that system. But we can't just pop out of here. We have to go like this. started that way. I have a skill point. Let's spin that first. Okay, let's jump first. Should we get one of these guys? Or go straight for derelict? Let's go straight for derelict. Repair rate. Armor damage. After combat ends. Salvaging. Post salvage. I think field repairs is better. Because you get automatically repaired. At no cost. Confirm. Okay. We're going industry. And we're going to Galatia. Monthly expenses. We can afford it. Thank goodness. You do not want to tangle with that guy. I would love to kill him. No respect for the hegemony. Hegemony. The hedgies. The hedge fund babies. No respect. Let's go to the academy. So I got my transponder on deep space. That's really cool. There's one mod that automatically does that for you. It, it turns that off when you go into space. I need to find that mod. Okay, Pontus, Glacier, we're going to the Academy. I like a meeting with the Provost. Provost. I will follow your junior agent. I will continue. I have done this before. 
I'm not gonna wink. Oh, cool. Okay. Bayer. You look different. I don't remember you looking like that. I'm not gonna say anything. What do you need done? Alright, I'll talk to that dude. Sebastian, what's up, dude? Nice to meet you. You want me to retrieve something? Alright. Okay. It's not too far away. You have an instrument package recovery? That's super far away, dude. Super, super far away. I can't go there. I'll take it. We'll do that later. There's no... Um, expiration date on those missions, which is nice. You can kind of bank those up. Kinda. So, we want to check this debris field now, don't we? Where's my, uh, where's my expert here? Adonis. Adonis. That's what your name reminds me of, Adonis. I didn't know what that word meant until I watched Deadwood. And I have to look that up. There's a significant risk. Let's assess the risk. I don't have any of these machine things, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a problem here. Let's do it anyway. We lost 11 crew. Well, that's actually a pretty big tragedy. What do we gain? Nothing. Okay, I well, won't we'll do that again. Now we need to go to a place and get more crew. We didn't also did not find the uh, vessels. We could go to the um, gate. I know that keeps some vessels around there. There should be a little patch of vessels that I can explore. Mm. What's up at the bar? You got a concerned person. Oh my gosh, they have a bunch of ore. Oh, I can make some credit on this floor. I can actually hold this. Wow. Where do you want me to go? Kulan? I can do that. I'll do this one. Oh, that's fun. We have a mission. Repair. Trade. Black market. What do you have in ships? Tempest. And we have a buffalo. Tribe field. Galatia Man. Galatia Man has stepped out for a moment. The way for him to pop back in. What did you want me to do here in Galatia? Why did I come here? Okay. Hey, you're back. Okay, cool. You gotta tell me, man. You gotta tell me where you go. No, you don't have to tell me. Um, I'm in Galatia, by the way. The Shepherd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how much is the Shepherd? The Shepherd has two D mods. And I bought a salvage rig already. I already bought a salvage rig. So the Shepherd, um, just not as good. The salvage gantry, it, it would it would add to my salvaging ability. But I have a dedicated rig, which has a salvage gantry. What's the? Does it have a salvage? Uh, part of the Shepherd's problem too is the uh, crew. Oh, it does have cargo. I, I never get these guys. It does have a fighter bay. I like that. The Borer drone. I don't know. I, I'm turned off by the D mods on it. I usually don't get those. So I'm also kind of unfamiliar with the Shepherds. I want to go back first. I'll show you what I have. If you miss that, I need to uh, populate this wolf, dram, the, uh, the covet here, as well as my salvage rig, which I'm piloting. So, F. Let's refit. Oh no, I don't want to refit. I want to get crew. I need how many crew? I had some crew die in my salvage operation because I wasn't. I didn't have any um, heavy machinery. Let's get a few heavy machinery. Actually, let's do it on the black market. Buy all those. Let's get our crew going. Forty crew. That's fine. We can afford that. And I also took this supply mission to drop this ore off for 30k. I was, I was just going to sell it, but I can't sell it for as much as they wanted me to drop it off for. So, I'm going to drop it off. What else can I buy here? So, I'm buying that. No, no. 
the mud skipper. No, no. And you're talking about the shepherd. I'm going to pass on the shepherd for now. I did look at it though. So we can go to Ankara from here. I was looking for where they hide the the ships. I haven't found the little cache of ships yet. So that's really what I'm looking for. fly all the way down here, but this is probably all the way down there, isn't it? Let's see what's down there. I got soda. Where there's soda, there's time. Nope, not seeing any ships pop up. Just this empty salvage area. Okay. I want to change all this up. I don't want distress call. Let's go to the next. We'll add distress call here. I'll add this one. Follow me. I do want neutrino detector. So let's go previous. Turn this off. Neutrino detector. I think we want this off for now. Turn this off for now. Interdiction pulse we're not using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. I'm just resorting some of this stuff. Sensor burst. I think emergency. Yeah, okay. So what I like to do is move this stuff. I forgot how I used to keep it. I never do interdiction poles, so let's get rid of that. Let's move this. Oh, let's keep it there. I don't know. Let's keep all this stuff here for the time being. I just don't want to accidentally push all those buttons. I kind of don't want to accidentally push emergency burn either. So let's do emergency burn at the end and take it off of this slot. Yeah, I, I'm just so rarely needing that. I, I have used it before, but it's like. You just don't need you don't need that mechanic. So when you do need it sometime, you can just find it and push it. I go to the next and I just put it on here somewhere. Interdiction pulse. Here we go. Okay. Next. Back. Yeah, I don't have the hyperspace ability just yet. Yeah, that that's what's gonna go over here in my like back end back back rank. Let's go to six. Check this piece of crap mess. I only have 14 heavy machinery, so we're going to lose crew again. Oh, we didn't lose crew. That's a miracle. And we gained machinery. Another miracle. <laughs> oh, we did good that time. Good job, crew. We explored the debris field. Debris. Said properly, Sturima. Debris. It's pronounced debris. Get the roll of the R. Here we go. There's a ship. That's not anything I want. Supply. Wait, wait, is there a ship that I want? What's happening here? No, it's just this little supply guy floating around nothing. I should see the ships pop up on my little radar screen. They're usually around this thing here. here here's the planet that you're talking about. Out of the ring. Here it is. Yeah, look at all them ships. There's the Dram Explorer. It's going to have a lot of D mods. Yeah, we don't want that. Not now. Salvage it. I'll take everything you got, buddy. Hammerhead. Oh, okay. I could use this. D modded. Yeah. I'm just not going to use it, is the deal. These are good, and I can get them later, but for now, no. We're just going to salvage. I really like that ship though. The kite is going to be demonded. Salvage it. Same story. I'm just going to salvage all this crap out of Unless I get something good. Definitely don't want that. Another kite. Let's let's see what it looks like. One demod. Fuel injector. Uh, we'll take this one. Just for the supply. Cargo. Okay. Oh, and it has missiles, so... We'll just add manually our things. Oh, no, I need to be docked to add what I want. Never mind. Buffalo, explorer. Buffaloes are generally crap. That's been surveyed. I can mine it. Ah, that's right. Next round, let's mine. Explorer. Ah, now this is, is a ship. What D mods? Cinch 
sensor array and damaged weapon mounts. Those are very doable. So let's recover this guy. We now have two of those guys. We're going to need more crew. Explore. Salvage. No. Condor. Not worth spending a story point for sure. Okay, well that was productive. Let's go over here. Do our deed to that kite. I can get in here without having to turn on my transponder, which is nice. Don't want any of this. Trade. Black market. I'm gonna keep our guns. Actually, I don't want the harpoons. We don't need those. I don't want the railgun either. Not, not right now. What's in your open market? Wait a minute, I can't check the open market, right? Oh, a cheap crew. Very nice. We need crew. We don't need crew, actually. It's a miracle that we don't need crew. Whoa, I don't need that many crew. Whoa. It's like 40 crew. We are going to get some more ships, so let's take a little bit more than 40. Since they're cheap, the fuel's cheap, we do have some money. I'll take all these, for salvaging. No, no, no. Maybe. Umbra wants this. We just came from Umbra. We're not going to Umbra though. But it's dirt cheap. Well, it could be cheaper. I guess we could fill up on that. We have some weapons here we need to make. Ah, we do need to make some choices with our new ships here. So let's just auto fit this to be like the other one. Same deal here. Oh no, can't auto fit. We could auto fit one of these, huh? I don't know. I don't know about all that. Cancel. This is cancelable. Get that. <laughs> this is just terrible. All sorts of terrible. I don't have any weapons for me here. So, I don't want cargo holds on these vessels. These vessels are going to be built just for combat. So, weapon mounts. Could get blast doors. Thrusters is probably pretty strong. Distributor, subsystems, bulkheads. And then we need the vents and a capacitor. Okay, that's fine. Fine enough for now. We have two of these guys. This guy's better. The D mods just make them so trashy in terms of value. So, trade. My res sensor. I don't want any of this stuff. Let's sell this. A little bit of cheddar. Okay. What do we got? You need to buy. It's worth buying. No. You need to get the bar. Oh, we did the bar. Okay, we're done here. Checked the station. We've checked this station. Okay. Now we exit this system. Galatia has been Galatiaized. We shall return. We have a couple missions. Don't talk to me. No, 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 no. I'm gonna turn my transponder on and flee this man. Patiently, no contraband found. Very nice. Okay, well, don't don't do that again. I don't like you guys. Just because I had my transponder off, what a jerk! Now chase me down like I'm some sort of pirate scum. You know I am a kind of pirate scum. Check this out. Now let's explore this. Ah, it wants us to have a little fight. Are we ready for this fight? 
I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I think we. I think they would win. <laughs> I don't think we can beat these guys. <laughs> We're gonna leave. I can't fight them. I have two wolves that have like point defense lasers. <laughs> That's like I'm chewing through them for like the whole thing. That's no good. We we really do need some combat vessels for this combat vessel game. <laughs> oh, it's, it's already a trip. I hope you guys are having fun out there. I'm having fun. What do I want to do here? I could I could take a break while you guys aren't um, so anxious on me hopping anywhere. Let's look at this. Where do we want to go next? You guys need to tell me where the hell I'm going next. I think north? Maybe back to Magic. 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 Maybe. I don't know how you pronounce it. Ackerman. Magic Ackerman. Get more supplies from Kansas Den. And then go somewhere else and sell them for great profit again. I think that's the plan. And then with that great profit, we double back into ships that we'll be able to have combat with. And then we can start picking off the little smaller Chickamaustak, Kulan, Chickamaustak. Okay. Uh, and Chickamaust supplies at Chickamaustak for the, the cheap supplies there. It's probably a good idea. Um, since I have extra um, storage space and everybody and their mom wants supplies all the time. So when I go to Kanta's Den, they're going to want the supplies from Chico Mustak. Chico Mustak, for me, represents kind of the end game of what you're trying to capture. I, I, I take that back. I won't say the end game. It represents the end of the kind of primary phase of the game. Chico supplies, then Kulan. I was thinking, what's in Kulan that you're thinking about? Ships? Looking at the ships they have to buy? Kulan generally has better ships than other places. Um, I was thinking of drugs. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Magic, Kanta's Den, has the drugs for cheap. As well as probably Kulan. I want to buy the supplies from Chico, go to Magic, supplies and fuel, really, and then sell that at, at the Kanta's Den. There's something else they want to buy. Oh, hearts. They want to buy vital organs. So maybe... Well, I, I try not to get involved with the organ trade too much because I have been burned <laughs> as, as a mercenary on that. Best shopping spot? You really? Okay. Uh, in my experience, it's essentially magic for the best... Well, I take that back. Shopping spots. I don't know about shopping. Maybe shopping. Okay. Um, but in terms of like getting valuable trades... It, for me, centers around Kanta's Den because of the in vanilla level Kanta Den deals are just superior. I have done other playthroughs where I did like random core worlds and Kanta's Den just doesn't exist. And so you have to find these other really valuable trades. And what ends up happening is like it's the Chico Mostox, it's the um, other places that have the um, pristine Nano Forge. If, if they have that equipped on their, whatever, heavy industry, then their supplies or whatever will be real cheap there. And you can sort of figure out what other place has some sort of artifact or whatever helping it along. And then you, you figure out your buy and selling trading. And for me, that, that basic economy is the basis of this game. That's like, that's the, the, whatever, bread and butter. And so once I kind of get a control over that... I'm able to then just branch out into everything else. Um, but that's really not the only way to play this game. I, I realize that. There's other ways to play it. Like there's... How do I target smugglers? Oh. Okay. So they tell you sometimes when there is like a opportunity, when there's like some big delivery, sometimes you'll just get an alert in the um, section down here. It won't be exploration, but it'll be... Uh, uh, oh, this is the map. What I want is... 
Um, Q? I. No. What? I'm forgetting all my buttons. E. E is the button. So in this E button, you have all these little tabs down here. Story, major events, local, accepted. I've accepted this thing. I need to actually do this. I could accept that pickup. Oh, damn, I'm supposed to deliver that. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. Really, I want to do this. This is my next stop. Uh, so I need to go to Kalan anyway to drop this stuff off. So that's where we're going next. And then supplies after that so I can uh, fit them in because I need to ditch all this worthless ore. Uh, but then down here, it'll say... Yeah, here it is, fleet departures. So we have a Hegemody aid fleet that's scheduled for... But that's... I don't know if that's worth fighting. Right, right now, we're too small. But also, another way is that I fly around the systems and look for the little the little shit fleets. And I, you can kind of sometimes figure out where they're coming from and where they're going. And so you can kind of intercept them that way. And usually, it's, it's just opportunist, opportunism. That's a good question, though. All right. So... What did you want to do with the ship? Fully equip. Uh, I don't have quite enough money, and I don't have any of the recipes for the ships. Uh, for, like, getting all the advanced stuff. Let's kind of sort this out a little bit here. Put our kites up front. Our kites have weapons. Let's get all of our ships with weapons up front. So, okay, one, two, three. I, do, I probably could have taken that fight. I have these crappy weapons on these ships right now, but I, I really don't have any combat capability right now. I'm just just now entering into the combat phase. Uh, I really need uh, like a destroyer or cruiser level vessel, and then I'll feel uh, once I get one of those, that will act as the anchor. So, like, it will just be the last man standing, and then all the other vessels can like attack the ships that are attacking the anchor but the anchor can withstand the, the like a tank in uh, world of warcraft it would be a tank uh, so I, I need like a tank vessel and then my wolf vessels become so much more powerful they're already pretty strong as is the wolf is a really powerful small frigate and then i think the next best one in vanilla is probably the tempest that's the wolf and the tempest are like for me the best small little turd ships and then going up from there, you get to like the hammerheads and other and the destroyer class, which are really good. Um, and then cruiser wise, Tempest, yeah, I, I like Tempest. Problem with Tempest and the problem with that blue wolf is that they're higher tech, and so you're just paying more upfront in monthly cost supplies and all that, and that takes a bite out of your starting income. And so what I try to do is build like a very efficient fleet starting off. An efficient fleet that's hard to spot and very fast. So I like to go augmented drive, insulated engine, and um, whatever else to kind of keep them hidden. And then kind of go from there. That's right. I, I, and I get to the point where I'm not afraid to fight at all. Now everybody else essentially becomes afraid to fight me, and they, they can't stand against me. I, I like that phase of things. Once you're able to go up against the remnant fleets out in deep space and beat them regularly, then all of the fleets in the inner core worlds mean almost nothing. They just None of them are as strong as the remnant fleets, in my experience, in the vanilla game. Now, when you start adding in the other factions, some of the factions can have very powerful ships just on default. And also, when you add in custom factions, sometimes the remnants get some custom ships. And so it ends up having the effect that it weakens the remnant fleet overall. And so I don't like that to some degree. I like the remnants being really strong with the radiance coming down on you and destroying any ship you have, basically. They can basically get a few ships of yours destroyed before you can destroy theirs. And that, that feels fair at first. And then later on, you, you're able to withstand their attacks, too. I don't know. I'm kind of... Exactly. Yeah. Uh, basically, a, a type of guardian ship. You, you, need a, um, you need a tank. You need a ship that can tank the Radiance attack 
when they'll they'll blink on, at you and then attack you with everything they have and then try to blink away. And you need some ship that can withstand that heavy assault. And that usually ends up being the Paragon. The Paragon becomes the anchor. But you don't want too many of those. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Ah, do I want my own guardian ship? I probably just can't afford it at this stage. Uh, but you, you'd probably have the, the inside scoop on where to get that. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not super trying to get too advanced too fast. I'm just kind of starting out, seeing what's out there. Uh, we're, we're going to cool on next. Why am I in this weird view? What button have I pushed here? X? No. F? No. E. Tab. How do I get rid of this X? Inhabited? No. It's one of these. Not the names. Constellations. Exploration. Exploration. It's this button. It makes it makes all the star chart look really weird. It adds like an X or a no X. It's really weird. Okay. So, where the hell is Kulan? This is where we're going. Let's turn our transponder off. We failed our delivery. That's okay. We sold that stuff instantly. So we got our money from that already. They're probably not gonna send us a fleet to be pissed about it. But it's not that one. Not that one. This guy's following me. He's staying ahead of me. Okay. I wanna go to Kulan, which is here. So Okay. Let's turn it on. One of my mods that I like to get is better bounties. Or the regular bounties are just kind of insufficient. I like I like the idea of having really strong fleets floating around out there in space that you need to go kill. I wish that they would move them. Like the fleet would move from system to system to system and you had to kind of figure out where they were and chase them a little bit. I, I wouldn't mind something like that. Instead of them being always at a planet that you just have to find a planet. But that's a, that's a mod that like I could create or something. Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. Okay, so... They're gonna catch me here. No way I'm getting away from these guys. This guy's gonna catch me. Son of a bitch. Allow, continue. But why would you guys even scan me? It's just I don't have good rep with these guys. That's why they're scanning me. Once you get good rep with these people, they don't care what you do. There we go. I got my money. Dropped off the ore. Let's do some trading. Black market. What you got? Shieldgen, converted fire bay. The converted fire bay is good. I don't know if you've ever played with this mod. Mod spec, as it's called. But you can add a fighter bay to all of your ships and essentially turn your whole regular fleet into a carrier fleet. <laughs> It becomes very powerful if you do it right. But if you don't do it right, then you're kind of just wasting your ordnance. Okay, so let's look at the ships here. Oh, they have a super freighter. I have a bunch of money now, too. This is good. A Dark Souls ball. Exactly. Yeah, it would be the best. I know exactly what you're saying. I am not a Dark Souls player. That's a game that I really want to get into. Uh, I like those kind of Monster Hunter games where you are you basically have to level up, grind a bit, and then fight this giant thing that's trying to step on you. <laughs> I love that shit. It's great. I watched, some, I watched a good bit of that in streams. Okay, let's get this buffalo. I'm interested in getting more supply. This makes me a better trader. I'm, I am a trader. I, I, I follow a trading playstyle. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh, I can't because I have to turn on my thing. So, there we go. Now I can. Open market. Buy. Yes. They have harbingers. Oh my god, look at all these buffaloes. Holy hell. Holy hell, they have the Tempest. Uh, I, I need to save some money, though, for buying stuff. <laughs> but I can come back here. You're right. This is the place to be for buying ships. And just buying in general. Let's look at their inventory. So yeah, supplies. It's dirt cheap here. So 
Let's go to the bar. The concerned person. Let's see what they were talking about. Where are they? You need to clear out a warehouse. Heavy machinery. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can afford that. I like that. But I gained a lot of heavy machinery. That's good. Well, that was pretty sweet. Oh, oh, but uh oh. My relationship with the pirates. Oh, has improved. Okay, I thought that got worse. Who is this? Arani Gold. Okay, she's a pirate. I'm not on a pirate base, though. Paper bag, no thank you. Okay, we're done with the bar. Let's do another repair. Let's look at our fleet. We bought this, okay. Let's upgrade it. Auto fit it. Ah, cancel. Cancel. This one. Auto fit. And then this one, we select the same thing. Okay, that takes that part out. So, buying. What else can we buy here? We don't want to buy too much. In fact, we don't want to buy anything. We want to buy supplies in the black market. But after we've gone into black market mode, we go to dark mode, and then buy in the black market. They want to buy fuel. Okay, we want to sell them some fuel. And buy as much supplies as we can carry, basically. All of that. Yep, I'll confirm that. The crew. We can buy some cheap crew here. I'm okay with that. Oh, we really want better ships. Because I have a ton of crew now. The marines are dirt cheap. Okay. I can sell them. No, we're not. Heavy machinery is dirt cheap. Wow. Super dirt cheap. Let's buy that. And then we'll sell that somewhere else. Unless we want to buy this. Okay, abort. So, heavy arms. So let's sort what we have here. I think we want heavy arms. We can sell it immediately and double our money in Corvus. Which is not too far away. But this could also skyrocket. I've seen that, at, like, not yet, I don't think. It, uh, like, we just started, so that it hasn't had time to, like, establish. Like a, a fleet getting captured or something. But when that happens, this skyrockets. This is already such a good price, I should just go ahead and buy it. Unless I can s sell this guaranteed somewhere else. Yeah, I can get it better. The Mayasura price for selling it for 300 units. I already have some though. I have 114. So, what does this look like? I want to have 300 max, so, and then some left over. So let's get rid of 150 and then buy what, whatever else is left over. And this, there we go. This is looking good, confirm. Nice. Let's go sell that crap and make some more money. And buy some more ships and come back here. Uh, one of the great things about doing this trading style is that you level up. Oh, they're going to chase me, huh? They did not like that. He's a pirate. He's, he's a smuggler. Get him. He's smuggling. <laughs> There's all this stuff down here. Why are you guys down here? You're mining that? Jump. As soon as I'm in hyperspace, too bad. I'm a, I am free to go. I'm low on fuel, but this is the place that wanted that, this stuff, Port C? Oh no, Ganeer wanted it, and Corvus. Who wants this? Lost Astropos. Myasura. We can make it there. We really want gas in Nakara, no, or Sindria. We can go to Sindria for that. Who wants this? Port C wanted this, I see, I see. Myasura. Myasura, okay, we're going to Myasura. Go to Port C first, maybe? Oh no, this is closer to this uh, jump point, so let's do that. Turn our. Nakacheta is uh, east of Chico. That's the one that's like the star system right to the right of Chico. Oh, he came out of there after me. Uh oh. 
Uh oh, I forgot to pick up the organics. Oh well, screw that person. They're pirates. They were pirates anyway. Uh, and it wasn't efficient for me to get there. Uh, let's turn it on. I don't want to cause any ruckus just yet. Although I'm about to turn it back off. Oh shit, pursuing my fleet? Fuck me. What are you? Can I fight you? No. I'll try to get away. Is it working? Mm. Oh shit. Are you gonna fight with me, buddy? Is he gonna fight him? Oh, he's coming for me. Son of a bitch. Well, I think I did that wrong. I should have just left. Yeah, okay. How come the other player doesn't want to fight with me? You kind of from the there. I just want to disengage. I don't want to fight these people. Oh, but this this guy's gonna go so slow. I could use a story point, but I'm just gonna try to attempt. I'll just continue. Okay, yeah, these guys are probably gonna die. So what I can do is try to fight a little bit with my fighting vessels to give time. Let's do S on you. S on you, and S on all the kites. And then that'll give all my other guys time to get the hell out of there. Maybe. Yeah, I've got some weapons, but not a lot. I have these light machine guns on my kites, but the kites are just good at not dying. So, they're just gonna not die. I'm really worried about these fighter things. That's what's going to kill my ship right here. This is not looking too good. This is... Yeah, not a lot of missiles. Not a lot of money. Not a lot of money. Well, that's not good. I just lost the kite. So now we do full retreat. And see what we get here. We're losing kites. That's okay. We've got some money accrued up. So we can take some losses here. And uh, it won't be a big deal. The problem is we're going to get intercepted by these guys. Let's speed this up. I don't really want to watch this today. The damn pirates got me. I'm going to the pirates. And they got me. That's the problem. We're going to get from the ship. Oh, kill my guy. My guy's dead. The commander has died. But we are escaping with some of our ships. So that's what's important. I probably should have just done full retreat right off the bat to keep some of my kites. Ah oh, well, I was afraid of that. And when you retreat, you don't get your vessels back. So I've lost those vessels permanently. That's not good. I wasn't paying enough attention. I should have done that a little bit differently. We'll leave. Well, I didn't want to fight him. I, the hammerhead would have died right there. If I try to fight them. So, what do we have left? Not a lot. Ouch, we just took a big hit. But we do have all this stuff still. We took a hit on this stuff too, though. Like, they acquired a bunch of our goods just then. And this guy, son of a bitch, did not help me. Thanks a lot, buddy. You just avoided that fight completely. <laughs> Asshole. Okay, so I really want to be hiding from these pirates. Uh, yeah, sustain burn away from me. Well, that's the problem with the pirates is that you can sometimes die. <laughs> Your run gets stunted like mine just did. So, we trade on the black market for whatever the hell they want. We're going to keep a limited amount of stuff and make a lot of our money back. Oof, oof, they took a lot of our money, dude. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, and our, this went... Oh no, that Garnier was where we wanted to sell that, okay. Fuel, they took a lot of our fuel too. Ouch, we lost our dram. Of course, they're on our fuel. Well, we may have to buy more fuel elsewhere. Not in this place. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, sort. Well, that, we're effed. <laughs> that one little fight just totally effed us. Okay. In insulated engines, this is what we want though. 
So we're back in the game. With this. Okay, that's gonna make it easier to avoid fights in the future. I might have to save it here, and, and uh, we're basically starting over now. We're basically starting over. It's gonna want me a captain. Oh, we got to keep the dram. Okay, well, back to piloting that. That's good. I'm pretty sure that blew up. I could be wrong. Maybe, yeah, I guess it didn't blow up. I guess it got to escape. I was piloting the uh, salvage rig, which blew up. Well, now that we have insulated engines, we're going to apply that immediately. And we're going to build it in. But we're not going to build it in on any of these ships because we don't want to keep these ships. No, sir. Thrusters? We can get rid of the thrusters. Add the engine. Get a couple more capacitors. Same story here. We can get rid of the fuel tank. We have to. Ah, I had crappy vents and everything too on this. Injector. Let's ditch the injector. And then call this custom. Okay. And then apply custom to all this. Or here. We already have insulated here. So auto fit custom. It worked. It worked. It worked. Auto fit custom. <laughs> okay. Not a lot of kites made it out of that fight. <laughs> but I'm learning. Here. No fuel. Add insulated. Add the vent. Go back. Same story. Go back. Same story. Just take a second to do all this. Go back. And this guy. You want to keep that, so ditch the cargo for you. Insulated engine. Go back. Fine, fine, fine. I could add a little gun on him. Maybe. I could add a... Nah, I'm not going to add that. I don't want him fighting. Poor Fuelish. Alexander's leading my army here. Maybe you want a better weapon. That's the thing. Ah, a mining blaster is pretty good, but I can't afford it. Yeah. Ouch. Maybe take that one off. Point defense in there. Fine. Go back. Weapon groups. No, that's fine. I do have these Gorgons. I can take one of those off. Let's leave them on. That's our main guy. So that's our fighter. <laughs> ouch. Ouch. That was a painful fight. I should have dipped out. I thought about dipping out and I didn't do it. When you dip out, you lose your aggro. So I can just pop back in. Now I know. I, I just need to be a little bit more careful. I may have to take a little break here. That was a blow to my ego just then. <laughs> like, I'm wounded now. I have to recover. Um, okay. Take a shuttle. Uh, I don't want to do any of this. I, I have no money. Oh, I need Basically, what I need to be doing is buying more stuff now and selling more. So trading. I need to go to Garnier to sell that. And you go to Port C to sell that. Okay. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. Our, our signature is smaller. Let's go back this way. Turn on our transponder. I could. I could get there, probably. Not sure what is there. What, what do you want me to do in Hyperzil? Ah, the bounty's there. Well, I don't know if I could uh, kill any bounty at this point, unless it's like the weakest bounty uh, in existence. Expanded missile racks. Super good. 
Can't afford it at this stage after my loss. Oof. Oof. I'm in oof mode. Total oofage. Let's. Is this guy gonna harass me? He will harass me. Okay. I can't go into black market mode just yet. Full on black market. Oh, you wanna buy this? For $5.29? Okay, sold. We got some cash. Oh, that just like. That's 50% of what we had <laughs> added. Okay, excellent. And the heavy machinery. You want to buy that? Excellent. That's right. We were selling that here. Keep 40. Ah, we got a little bit of cheddar back. Oh, we don't need all this crew either, but they don't want it. Eventually, Kanta's den is, he wants this. This is the crew. Supplies. Okay. we we'll I have to go back to Kulan to get some more good deals. Okay. I really like these tridents. Those are great for vanilla. Okay, what are we doing here? Do we go back to the salvage? I'm gonna skip the salvage rig. I could get the tanker. How are we looking at gas here? What is gas? How much does gas cost? Regular price? We're buying. I could even buy extra gas. Because it's regular price. 27? How much do people want to buy this for? 38. So yeah, we're buying all of this. Confirm. Okay. Pulled up on fuel. Uh, these guys for storage. For cargo. I don't need cargo just yet. I don't have the items for it. But I kind of want those ships. I don't have the money for it. Okay. I am really back to square one. I'm like back to square two, basically. I have these ships I don't even need anymore. Really, I just want the, the kites. I just did a bad job of avoiding the fight. Or what I'm doing is a style that you avoid the fights. I'm not going for early fights. So, maybe Hybrasil is the next. What, what did you say was in Hybrasil? The bounty? Just camping frigates, Shepherd? Can you buy? Buy a Shepherd? I, I'm not into the Shepherd. I'm going to resist getting the Shepherd. I don't think I quite need it. I don't need to do much um, salvaging, especially right now. Later on, possibly. I don't want the converted hangar either. Really, I just want supplies and fuel. I have to sell that. Uh, I'm not about going back to the lost though. Drugs, organs, these domestic goods. Aha! Make a little money on that, maybe. None of this is any value. I've done all my missions. Let's see. Uh, e. Accepted. Yeah, I failed or completed all my missions so far. Ah, uh, there's this. I could do this. This gets me on the exploration bit. I do have a lot of fuel now. We could do that. We could explore and complete that mission. A little extra cheddar to kind of get me back in the game. This is a good idea. All right, that's going to be my plan. I'm going to do, uh, can I do F6? Does that work? Save it. It doesn't save it. Uh, before I do the bounty, I want to do a mission. I'll pull it up real quick so you can see it. This mission. It shouldn't be too hard to get there and back with the amount of fuel I have. And I'm probably just going to have to explore a thing. I'm not going to have to do much to complete this. And it's close by. It's not as far out as this other one. Which is super obnoxious. That's not super obnoxious, but it's a distance. This one's not so bad. This one I can get back and even go to one of these places. Yeah. But i got to take a break first. Give me like five minutes, I'll be back. Fluids. Check the the bathroom. Feed my squirrels. Come back.
Okay, I'm back. We go to Farragut. Can you buy a bounty? Okay. Alright. What I want to do is leave this sector. I should have used the story point. Oh god, an idiot. That would have been the st time to use the story point. Okay, now we know. Not the end of the world. We can afford where we're going. Let's go faster. Supplies, we can't make it. I hope. Uh, I I don't know. I might just try to do this for a bit and then go to like challenges on another time. Uh, let's just do not the bar but the trade. And I want supplies. Okay, I'll take it. Highway robbery? Ouch, I can't afford that. I can barely afford that. Ouch. You want the gas? No. You want this? No. That? I don't have that. I don't want that. Oh, I do want this. I can't afford it. Okay, that's where I'm at right now. What ships do you have? You have crazy good ships. Okay. This is my level down here. Mud skipper time. Let's get out of here. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I really should have used my story point. I'm not going to do my jump properly. I need to use the story point. I realized I had basically a surplus of that. Let's go to Farragut. be skinny. Trying to be hidden. Trying to be insulated. Okay, so let's try this one first. Medium danger here. Okay. It's not giving us a thing of where to go. Retrieve fashion and our fuel from a derelict ship, but it doesn't know where the ship is. So let's go there first. Can we get that? I don't think we can even... We can't even salvage. Oh yeah, we can. We can do a little bit of salvaging. Six. Okay. Continue. Yeah, we'll do it. Not so bad. Free stuff is free stuff. I can't even do surveying yet. I'm, so, I'm still at the beginning here. I can't even put this thing in my name. We're just floating around. Oh god. This is going to take forever, huh? I think we just float to the uh, different planets and look for this thing. I was really hoping it was going to tell me where it is so I could just fly right to it. But that's not in my cards. Oh, what's this? Is this the ship? No. It would be labeled with the explain it anyway. Sleeper pods, okay. I got a lot of crew now. Okay. They're gonna want payday. No problem. I bet. The ship could also be at this far away gate point. Get out of the thing there. One maybe? Great, they're gonna make it hard for me to find this thing. It's, it could also be at the sun. Oh shit. And they're pursuing me. We need this already? Yes, we do. Or just five. Alone. 
was that? Green. Debris. That's probably my vessel. You can come after me too? Of course. Leave me alone. Oh my god, you're gonna get me? Both of you are gonna get me? Holy hell. you out over here, then lose you, and then come back. You will see me? No, 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 no. Speed up, we're already in speed up. What are you guys? There it is. So to leave, what? The bridge crew is muted. You sense an edge in the atmosphere. They fear the alien power of the remnants of the first AI war. You'll want to pull off this operation quickly before you set off some half-functioning threat algorithm in unseen watchers. Look, the motherfuckers are chasing me already. What are you talking about, unseen? Your operations chief dispatches salvage teams. They perform an efficient breach and survey of the Hulk. Battle damage and aggro failure have made a riotous mess of the internal volumes, but your experienced crews have dealt with the situation on countless occasions. They spread out, setting temporary cargo nets to contain and sort out the slowly drifting clouds of salvage. Using search parameters based on the specs provided by the Galatia Academy experiment team, the fascinating low power fuel projector is located and secured. I'll be right back, my food is beeping. Remember in five minutes to check it again. I didn't set a timer. I never remember. Okay. We're leaving. Did we not get it? Did we get the thing? I should have read the last of it. Explore. Begin salvage. Take the nothing. Is this guy gonna be mad at me? What's up here? Can't take it. Oh shit. Ah, oh, shit, your house still fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Ooh, gingerbread man. You can't go get me. I'm in the dark. Oh, fuck you. And I interdict. I interdict you. Don't interdict me, I interdict you. Okay, this is not good. We're on zero, we got zero back. Use more fuel, but it's fine. Let's just get out of here in one piece. Right. We did it. Okay. But we're going broke really quickly. So we have to go back now? Yeah, we gotta go back. That's our mission. Before we go broke. Come on, Sebastian. Hook us up with the cheddar. Us up with more easy to make cheddar. All the best. We need the cheddar and then we need to go to Mega and buy his stuff. ASAP. Sell crew. ASAP. 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 Right here. Wish we could just warp in. Gotta return these. Yeah, uh, I don't have the ships to do bounties. That's my problem with bounties. I can just warp here. Nice. Just keep the transponder off. They don't care about it. I don't need to ask about that. I'm gonna this guy. Yay, we got money. Yay. What else do you have? Ah, transporting scientists? The way the hell out in the middle of nowhere? Done. No time? They're just gonna hang out with me forever? Fine. VIP transport? Okay, this might be a problem. Oh, we want to go right there. This is not good. This is really good. I mean, threats? Oh, you know threats. Okay. We're going to take this. We want the money. VIP delivery accepted. Alright, 
that's good. We got some more jobs to do here. Let's get out of here. We don't need to buy supplies or nothing. What did you say, last one? Will you ox? What is ox? Oh, uh, one thing I don't like, the ox is the thing that makes you go faster. So, oh shit. This guy's gonna gig me. Let's see if we can escape him. Oh, now we can allow, continue. God damn it, I hate these guys so much. I don't want to engage. What a butthead. He just wanted to ruin my reputation, that's all he wanted to do. Okay. We are going this way to Nova. Mission. Turn our transponder off. Uh, the oxes don't help you that much. That, and you have to pay a large supply cost. And, and I can't afford that. I, I, like I said, I don't have the vessels to fight the bounties. So if I take a bounty, I will just lose the bounty. So I don't want to do that. What I want to do is go to Nova. Remember, I'm still just a very lowly little guy floating around. Let's turn on. I'd like to be able to fight guys like that, but I can't. So, let's turn off our transponder. Dark mode. Then Nova. Continue. The dude left. We got even more money. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. We are back in the business. I got to check my food up here. Spend some money. Maybe. I'm going to field drive. I can buy this now. Yay. L freaking yay. Abort. Black market. Do they have it here? No, they don't. Alright. Open market it is. This is one of my favorite ones. It's worth it. Right click to learn. Very good. All that we don't want. Oh my gosh, the supplies. Look at this. And Kansas then wants to buy them. Excellent. Excellent. If it didn't really wants that too, okay. Black market. Oh wait. Yeah, wait, yeah, we want black market. Trade. Black market. All of your gas. All of your supplies. Anything else that's cheap that Kantha wants? Wants that? Yeah, we'll take that first. And then... Oh, the crew. He likes crew too. 32. No. And this. Okay, we did good. And we have money left over. We can look at ships. Yeah, good question. Good qu I like the way you think. It's the same. Black market. I got a nice sunderer right there. I'm a little worried about my money, though. So... I really want to make small purchases still, I think. I don't know, I don't know. I think I want to go back to my uh, buffaloes. So the problem, I think what I needed to do first was have more combat vessels to protect the buffaloes. So I don't just lose them when I run away. But I really don't want to be running away. I'm not the type of person that just runs away from fights. I don't want to be fighting. But uh, I'm at the stage where I basically have to run away. So I can get some more kites. Let's just get a couple more kites right off the bat. They have usually have good survivability, but I kind of botched the last fight. I had them fight it out at first, and that was a little bit of a mistake. Get this guy auto fitted just for storage. He's basically just a mule. That's what I'm using my kites for, just muling. Oh, yeah, and these guys have more. Yeah, they got messed up. That's okay. So I have a little bit more inventory space. I can buy some more stuff here. 
Okay, that's good enough. Let's go see what Kanta's has, and then maybe Trevisina. We're, we're buying, we're selling in Kanta. Yeah, we're selling at Kanta. Uh, my tofu is done. I'm trying something new with tofu. Uh, I was talking with AI, and AI told me that I can soak my tofu in on my old pickle juice. I had this pickle juice in the fridge, and I was like, AI, what can I do with my pickle juice? <laughs> and AI was like, well, if you have tofu, you can soak your tofu in the pickle juice and then air fry that. And I did it, and it blew me away. Like, pickle-flavored tofu is crazy. Uh, it's like pickle-flavored meat, basically. And uh, I'm trying it now with corn juice. When I, I'm opening up a lot of cans of corn, because I feed chickens, and the, corn's, the chickens love corn. But the corn cans have all this juice inside of it, so I'm pouring the corn juice and saving that. And then when I get enough of it, I'm adding in my tofu pieces, and then now I've just completed that beer bag. Total black screen. I'll open up the camera. This is what I just cooked in my air fryer. I put on some Japanese barbecue sauce as my sauce flavor. This stuff is so good. Oh my god. You just wouldn't believe it. It's like you're you're eating guilt-free meat. That's the way I like to think of it. Like very low fat, high protein. So anyway, let me go back to the game here. Should I be on that side. Or this side. I think this side's better. Okay. What the hell was I doing? That's just dead. Hit the two button. Don't get into any fights. I like Kansas Den because there's never they're never protected. Unless you uh, add a mod that it's faction mad or something. Oh good. He's not ready to fight these guys for more. I'll have to read that again. Hold on a second. He wants this too. Who wants this? Nobody wants that. Nova wants that. Okay. Who wants this? I actually want to buy that. Uh, I'm not ready to sell that yet. I forgot Sensor Pulse Gas Giant. To Sensor Pulse a Gas Giant. What is that again? Does that cost um, Sensor Pulse Gas Giant? Very interesting picture. I don't think I have the gas. It requires like a um, the blue gas stuff. What does it do? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I thought you did. What does sensor pulsing the gas giant do? Okay. So luxury goods are cheap here. I want to go to Nova's in a second for this. So I've made my money. Uh, we're doing good again. We're back on top. No longer broke again. So you say. I don't know what that does though, so I don't want to do that. Is Sensor Pulse the scanning thing? The number three or whatever? 
two for 50. And this is, I gotta get this guy. Tempted to get this guy. Okay. Manticores are pretty good, but I don't want it. Let me look at my ships. It's custom, auto fit, custom. This guy, we're moving up in the world. Here, move him up. And then we add something that's good. I don't know if this is good or not, but we're gonna put it on him. It's probably not good at all. Okay, you, you'll be long range. Fine. Long range, long range, long range. Add in. Insulated. There we go. And then hardened subsystem, reinforced bulkhead. Flux distributor. Vent it out, and then we're done. Okay, that's that. So now we have three wolves. It's a start. It's a start. At least we're starting. And then we have money. But more importantly, we have money. So we can buy here at Canton's then. Something that's worth money. Like this. Oh my gosh, look how much profit we would make. That's insane. Buy it for 30, sell it for 200. That's close to 10 times profit. insane. I have to do that. Might as well do this too. Galatia, look at you. Oh man. Okay, well, let's start with the most valuable, which is the luxury goods. And that's up, that fills us up right there. Okay, so work. And then maybe it's the drugs. Because they're more expensive to start off with. Yeah, there we go. Max out on that. And then see if we can buy another ship here. If we can carry some more stuff. All these suck. They suck too. Maybe that one. There's your shepherd. I could look at your shepherd again. The skeleton crew required is 15 then. I'm not really doing much surveying or salvaging. Not yet. I'm going to look at that later. I'm just not up to that stage yet. Okay, so black market. want to get some gas. Here, try this in. Speed. This way, speed it up faster. Slower. Oh, whoa, 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 we hit the thing. Okay, let's just touch it. Let's hit the bar. I want gas. I get it. Yes. It's worth the black market hit. Yeah, I passed it again. That's okay. I, I'm not worried about the sensor thing. I, I don't need to affect any change in any of the systems. I don't need to scan anything. I just need to uh, load up here on some cheap supplies. Some cheap gas. I could maybe sell them something. Do you want anything, buddy? I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing I got. Okay. Maybe buy a little bit of Um, I know how to do that. It's all good. You can do mods and stuff. And you can get, uh, you can go faster than normal. But I, I'm good with how fast I'm going. I just want to start out normal. I'm 
us out just a little bit. That's okay. I don't have to be perfectly efficient here. Where I do want to go is make all my money from the drugs first, I guess. And then this. Marieth. I might should have just bought all Marieth. Marieth is in Mayasura, so let's go to Lost in Mayasura. This is where we uh, took the hit, so we may suffer again here. I might end up at Marieth first. Let's go. There. Policemen around here. We do our illegal trading. They really wanted this, didn't they? Holy hell. Mercy. They're, they're offering more than they were telling people they wanted for it. That's okay, we'll take that. And then we go to the loss to sell this. Perfect. How much you want? 100? I'll take some supplies. to buy this. Let's buy it. Wait for it. It's a good spell to have. Good mod. Ah, another good wolf here. It'll be a wolf fleet. Tempted to buy something stronger. Falcons are okay. I want something that will be in my feet, fleet permanently. I might not be able to get that right off the bat. See what's on the open market. Bunch of crap. They got an ox. Let's look at the ox. Maintenance supplies, 10 per month. Compare that to the, the wolf. Maintenance supplies, 4. The height, this one's 5. So that's like two wolves. That's not worth it. The maintenance supply is outrageous for those things. But you can do some cool stuff with it. I thought about the Shepherd. I, I saw a couple good ones here. They're pretty inexpensive. They do have surveying equipment and salvage gantries. And they only have a three maintenance cost. The problem is they do cost more crew, which we have in spades. So let's get them. I'll get two. You've been so persistent about it. I'll get two of them. Actually, let's go for full three. Three shepherds. Let's get another wolf. So we can afford it. We're rolling in the cash right now. And wolves are really good. So... They work well with each other, also. We need armaments for these guys. I think this mining blaster is probably the most effective for them right now. Okay, this is what I want to try. Pretty minimal. Go insulated, hardened, reinforced. And just look at that with our vents and everything. Okay, so we can afford a little bit more. The distributor. Alright, this guy should be a pretty strong tank right here. I'm not, gonna go, I'm not gonna give him the extra missiles just yet. I really want a ship that has more missile capability. This guy. 
swap out one of these for the Gorgon. Oh no, let's keep them. Keep both Gorgons. Actually, I want to add the point defense. Can't afford it, okay? Anyway. Ah, you have too many point defense. Let's take one off you. Let's take this one off. And this one. Let's replace this with the Lightning Blaster. Here we go. Now we're talking. That looks pretty sharp. No, we didn't get armored weapon mounts for this guy. Let's take this off. I just have two. That should be good. Nope, cancel. Armored weapon mount. There it is. That gives us a nice little spot of armor on these guys. Really just one point defense thing is fine. On the left. We're doing one on the left side. Or center. Fine. You want four? Okay. Let's do the short range. You have that one. You have that one. Okay, okay. Good. You're good. We're set here. Ah, now the shepherds. Let's auto get them going. Add in the insulated. What makes them stronger? Probably cargo the best on them. With reinforced in case they die. And then vents just to keep them alive. Okay. And then auto fit custom. Auto fit custom. Uh, to a degree. I, I really am only interested in their drones. The borer drone in terms of combat. I don't want the actual vessel to have a ranged thing so that it tries to get closer to the enemy vessels to attack it with its inferior weaponry. When I really, I just want it to stand at its maximum range and send out the drones. And then it can just stay in the background, hopefully unattacked. That's my plan with those. One of the best... There's some sort of phase frigate for one of the mods, one of the modded factions that lets you have this uh, like tiny little phase ship flying around and you can equip it with two of these really expensive missile ordnance and they do this like waving pattern as they go to attack the enemy vessel when you shoot when the little wing shoots its missile and man that thing is devastating right, you can have just a few of those in your fleet and they will just blink around they'll phase around and then they'll come out of phase and their little the wings will attack and then they phase out and they basically can't be killed, and they just have these endless torpedo attacks. It's really powerful. Yeah, Nexrelon is really nice because it lets you mine planets and asteroids. That's right. I really like that about Nexrelon. And it works well with the Junkyard. I call them Junkyard Dogs. I think that's their name. Junkyard Dogs. Uh, they're like a mining fleet. So I like the mining. It, the mining is a more of a kind of a wholesome thing. If you don't want to do a piracy playthrough, you can do like a mining playthrough. Yeah, I've done similar things. Okay, our shepherds are decked out. What about inventory here? This is our next thing. Lost Astropo, we go. You want to buy that. Well, we might as well buy a few supplies. We're burning through them. Crew, how are we doing? We're doing good on crew. We could sell some crew. Sell a little bit of crew. We found like 100 crew while we were exploring space. Sell those guys. We're slave trading. Sell, sell their contracts. That's what we're doing. We're not selling the people. Okay, we're done here. They don't really have any vessels for me. We've looked. Okay. Repair. Leave. Oh, we did. We bought all the vessels we wanted. So let's go through the sun.
dark mode here in a second. Mm. We don't want to get hit by another. There we go. Profitable trades. We're at level three. There we go. So we we have a reduced fuel consumption ability, or reduced monthly supply consumption for ship maintenance. I think that's superior, right? Take shift equipment and then go to fuel and then go derelict operators. Which even reduces our Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna build up to this operations right here. Are you a derelict operations go? Go or, or do you do the other one? Um, hole restoration. When I first started out I was a hole restorer for sure. And you get so much value from hole restoration because you know especially with the capital ships you're turning these hundred thousand dollar D mods yeah you okay so I, at first when I first played this probably the first six or seven times I played this game for like months on end I was whole restorer all the way hundred percent I thought derelict mods of big battles uh, with mod modded big battles I say uh, but what I didn't understand about this other upgrade, the derelict operations, is that you, it allows you to introduce more supply onto the battlefield. You know, when you get all these D mods on your ship, the D mods you can sort of pick and choose which ones you want, sort of, uh, and you can get D mods that don't really negatively affect you that bad, but you're gaining this ability, this reduced supply cost which allows you to just field so much more and so it makes all of your fights so much more easier. I, I didn't really understand that I was shooting myself in the foot with the whole restoration even though I didn't have any D mods on my ship. Uh, it's, I, it's already set to 400. It, it's defaulted at 400. I can check. It's defaulted. Battle size is at 400. Which is 200 on mine, 200 on theirs. I believe is how that works. But I could be wrong. But it's, I've maxed it out. I, and this battle size is one of the tricks to it. You could even reduce it. And that derelict operations is going to be even more powerful. The more you reduce this, the even more powerful it becomes. Right, so you're cheating. Right, you're cheating. You're, well, you're breaking the vanilla game so that you can have a different upgrade system. Whereas with this, with the vanilla thing, it's the derelict operations is superior to the whole restoration in terms of my play experience. Uh, you just you're able to field a stronger army in combat is what it amounts to. You field more stronger ships. Well, I guess you field more slightly weaker ships but it, it more than makes up for it you're adding in like two or three more capital ships onto your playing field instead of just having like one paragon and one other capital ship you can have two paragons and like two other capital ships all on the field at the same time it just changes everything without having to mod in the supply upgrading thing so i, I see what you're talking about Uh, and you also require a, a better computer to do that. <laughs> Your battles become very, very computer intensive, CPU intensive. Okay, we're getting close here. We're not getting accosted by their fleet. I think that uh, Tribacina fleet has killed the pirate fleet for me. Ah, the damage its a damaged place too. Very good. What's at the bar? Bounties, see you traders, smugglers. No. Might talk to the smuggler. This, so there we go. Let's get the money off this right here. I've seen this up to like 800 before, or 900 maybe. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. No tariffs. Confirm that. Ah, I was supposed to sell this at Nova. Let's just get rid of our metal. Oh, let's keep 100. Or 80. Keep a little bit of that. Okay. I'm surprised all this isn't more expensive. 
Anything cheap. Anything is cheaper. Supplies is cheap, basically. Phase coils, deck crew. This is a good one. This makes your dudes really stronger, but I don't need it yet. I don't. Oh, I do. I do have fighter replacement with the uh, shepherds now. The shepherds would benefit from this. But, I don't know, they don't have enough ordnance to justify putting that on them. Nor bays, they don't have enough fighter bays. This is a good gun, the pulse laser. Let's take all those. In fact, let's equip those. Pulse laser. The mining blaster is kind of garbo. Do you have any better rockets here? I like these hammers. And a one and done. Um, I could put guns, but they don't have very many good gun slots. Let's look at that. They have a small and a small ballistic. A small universal. Small. I could put a uh, a cheap missile on them. That's not a bad idea. Let's get this mining laser and a uh, and a missile. But the problem with that is that okay. Let's look at this. What is the range of their fighters? This guy. There we go. Armor rating top speed. It doesn't have his range. But, oh, there it is. Yeah, maximum engagement range is 2,000. So if you look at a missile, so we go to missiles. The best missile here is, is 100. Oh, here we go. Harpoon is 2,500. So this will be the one that we want to put on him. Because we want to keep, we want to keep them at maximum range. Point defense is okay. They don't seek. They don't go forward to try to use point defense. So we'll use a little point defense. Is okay. But I don't want to go too crazy with that. Does he have shields? I think he has shields, right? Yeah, he has shields. Let's take off one more. Yeah, we did. So we'll add in. I like this single torpedo. Is that what you just said? It would be very weird if Shepard fighters include uh, crew loss. All right, they have a drone. So it makes sense. A small vessel could only really afford to have drones to be sending out in fighter. You know, things. You'd have to have a larger vessel to have like actual crew members. But I know what you're saying. It would be weird. <laughs> that would be weird. Uh, and and it would, you would suffer from it and as a beginning player. You'd be losing your crew all the time every time you went to battle. That's not good. Okay, so we want to make this now the new custom. And then all of the other guys get the same. Confirm, new, auto fit, confirm. Yeah, that's a good idea. It, it just helps them be a little bit stronger in combat. I could do the same with these. Let's take a few of those. Could add a harpoon, add a hammer. Let's add a hammer. A little something just to something to fight back. Yeah. Shoot a missile that's coming at him, maybe. Well, the hammer is worthless. Let's get rid of that here. We're not going to use that. Okay. We, really, we don't want these guys fighting. That's the thing. These are our fighters up here. Okay. We don't want that. Let's do I. We looked at all of this. We looked at all that. Okay, we want to look at ships. They don't have anything for me to buy. Not really. It would be the wolves, probably. So we're ready to leave here. You can go where? Kind of want to rinse, repeat. Who wants fuel? We're going to Kanto's Den. Or we could go to Kani, Kamari Kandon. Oh, you, wanted, you were talking about Hybrasil. What's in Hybrasil? Hulan. We could go back to Hulan for more supplies. Look at this. Supplies. Oh my god, 61. Kaz? It's cheaper than Chico. How's that impossible? Yeah, okay. That's okay. The bounties aren't as profitable. Like, the bounty would have been for like 50k. And we got, we're at, sitting at 260. So we have done a good job profiting. The bounties can actually kind of hurt you too. I, I'm not really able to, if I'm not able to beat them all in combat, they can, I can take losses. 
but I could take losses. I, I'm not quite at fighting power yet. I want to be a little bit stronger. Uh, what I was doing was taking these mining lasers off. The pulse laser is better than the mining laser. By far. By far. So we're equipping those. Oh, we run out of them. Okay. Inventory. What we want to do is sell the gas. So we're going to Connie. We also want to buy that Kaz Duel. Where's Connie? Kumari K. Connie's in Duel. My impulsors are good too. That's a good guy. Uh, I really like the what what's the thing like how it stuns everything else? I forget what they call that. The ion pulsar disables your enemy's guns and so it, it's a great tactic you just disable them and then everything else that hits them kills them but as long as you know if they're disabled they can't strike back so it's a that's a very strong weapon i concur i do i concur hello barrack what's going on man haven't seen you in a bit We got pods here. We got 40 crew, just off of nothing. I'll take it. Oh, and I hit a rock. Yeah, I'm checking out this Star Sector thing. I'm giving, giving Star Sector another run here. Run for its money. I should have done my scan. Let me, let's go back. Let's do the scan. Oh, this is a toxic wall. I thought this was a gas giant. Never mind. I don't want anything to do with this. Let's mine it, maybe? No, we're not going to be able to mine it. We're going to lose stuff if we try to mine it. We got story points, though. Pro for, for profitable trades. We are going to... Connie K, then Thule. Connie, here, and Kumari K. Uh, it's like little tongue creatures. Sound sells sea shells down by the sea. I have, a, I have a skills point to spend. Oh, I never spent it on this. I forgot to spend it on that. Confirm. This stream's going well. Thanks for asking. Uh, how far are we into it here today? We are four hours into this stream, but I did stream earlier today. I've realized that I'm not able to upload or export a like 12 hour stream to YouTube. It's too long for their systems. It's too, too many gigabytes. So my new tactic is like 10 hour chunks or less. So I'm trying. I'm also trying to cut back on the amount of breaks that I'm taking. I find that I'm like just doing other things. I'm just a regular person. So like going out to feed my squirrels, going out for walks, cooking some food, you know, living the bachelor's life. That's what I'm doing. But it doesn't really translate well for streaming. At streaming, you really want to be sitting down, playing the whole time, and for like a six-hour chunk. So that, as we all know, that just takes dedication, and I'm just not that dedicated. I'm not that prepared yet. So I'm getting there. I'm enjoying the stream. I'm enjoying this whole process. I, I like meeting everybody, talking to everybody. Adion here is a Star Sector pro. <laughs> He's been guiding me on kind of what to do. I'm kind of missing out on. Favorite weapon? That's a good question. I think... Nice, Barrett. Dude, what were you streaming? You, you don't stream the games that I'm streaming, as I recall. I think we talked about this. Um, favorite weapon in Star Sector? That's a good question. I, I don't have... Uh, Call of Duty. Nice. You did a seven-hour Call of Duty? Did you do Call of Duty the whole time? That's freaking hardcore. That is a chunk right there. You'd be sweating. You need to take a shower. <laughs> That's what you need to do. You need to eat food, take a shower, go to sleep, wake up and carry on. What carried me through my games? That's a really good question. You guys are you guys are awesome here. Okay, um I still haven't 2 a.m. Damn dude. Go to bed. 
Wake up. You have a whole other day coming. Tomorrow is another day, you know. You're in the UK? Ah, uh, yeah. It's uh, 6.20 p.m. here, and I'm on the West Coast in the U.S. So. I'm still thinking about my favorite weapon. Uh, I think I like beam weapons. And there's a beam weapon that's really good. But I forget what it's called. It's the Rift Lance, I think is what it is. Or Rift something. And you can put it on the Paragon, and the Paragon can strike from a distance with it. It's really nice. When I go to sleep, that's right. Uh, but I'm uploading, so if you ever wanted to see what I'm doing, you can you can go through my you can scroll through one of my long ass videos and catch a highlight or something. Uh, I like the Paragon. I like the Paragon. I have to admit, uh, it's not my favorite vessel per se, but it is such a strong bubble that it's really good. It's a good ship. Yeah, early game. Mm -hmm. I think I'm. If I go to capitals, if you were to ask me what was my favorite capital ship. I think I would pick the um, vanilla, uh, the silver one. They added it pretty recently. It's the one that the Sindrians get. It's their capital ship. Um, Executor. It's called the Executor. I like that one because you can put some beam weapons on it or you can really go in any direction with it and it works well. And it stacks well with other Executors and, uh, and also the Paragon. You're right, the shield is doo-doo. You have to add shields if you want to tank. So you need... Hi, right, man. I'll see you. Thanks for stopping by. Dude, I appreciate you coming in. Saying what's up. I have a, uh, a chat. I have a, an emote here for you. I will see you later. The flux is doo-doo. You're right. The flux is also bad on that. But you don't have to worry about the flux or the shields if you're the one doing the damage. And so the way you ensure that you're the one attacking is you attack first, so you have range. So you use energy weapons, beam weapons, and you get the additional beam range. And man, when you get like four executors with the beam range all beaming on one ship at a time that comes into their you know, mutual range, they're just popping ships one right after the other. That's one... one tactic I have run with in the past. And they basically become so strong that no other ship can stand up against them. And you compile the fact that you have derelict operations so you're able to field more of these executor ships than the enemy can field at the same time. So, ah, the Pegasus, yeah. Uh, the yellower one. Uh, I, I prefer the executor one more. The Pegasus is better for missiles in my opinion. And so if you're like trying to build it out missile-wise. Which can be fun. Missiles can be strong, but missiles have a aren't good for long term. Like if you want to have this continued fight, you just run out of missiles. As you all know. Okay, we're approaching Connie. Let's go into dark mode here. So we don't send out a pirate to F me up. Dockside bar, nothing's happening. Trading. Did we just come from Connie? I think we just came from there. Yeah, we did just come from there. Okay. I don't know what's happening. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, but this is way super expensive. Oh, we were coming here. We were coming here to sell fuel. Okay, let's keep that. Up. And that gained us nothing to do that. Okay. Fuel, not so. Oh, we could buy some crew though. Yeah. Mm hmm. But you run out of them, is the problem with that. But if you run out of them when they've run out of their capitals, then it's not a problem. You just get more the next time. And there are also certain factions that allow you to regenerate or carry even more of the missiles, which are very powerful. So I will occasionally do that. I guess I'm going to take some of these crew since they're cheap. Uh, I want to look at their ships. Black market. They're shite, is what I should have said. Oh my god. It's a little bullcrap here. So, there's nothing at the bar. We're done trading. We're going to leave here. Let's check out Olandu since we're right here. Faster than that. Dockside bar. Ah, concerned person. You've got organics. They need to go to cool on. Ah, I have to do an escrow. That's okay. So I'm going to have to throw down some money in order to get all this money and my throw down back. Can I, I can't.
can't fit all this into my cargo. If I can buy a ship, oh, oh, hold on, move the bar, and then see if I can buy a ship here. Ah, I like that. I like that tactic. Uh, one of my first, the first times I was ever to, able to beat the Remnant armies regularly, I had to use the, uh, what do they call them? Um, they're like, not the best capital ships. Uh, gosh. Conquests. And, uh, but the thing about Conquest is if you build them out with range, they are so fast that they can just skirt out of danger. Uh, they have the worst shields imaginable. Uh, but you don't really even need the shields on them. You just have them skirt out and you get multiple of the same ship so that they behave in like a same pattern. And what happens is the conquests go around. It, also, I build out the conquests so only one side of the vessel can have long range and the other side has short range. So you're basically always fighting facing one side, which allows them to kind of skirt around and maintain this outside bubble around the enemy. It's, it's a very, very effective thing. I have to show you. Uh, it just works out really well. It was able to defeat all these remnant armies. Get like four of those going. Oh man, good times. The, but the problem is they're a bit fragile, so I'd have to replace them regularly. Have like eight of them in the army, and like four of them would die, but the other four would just clear up. So that, that was the very first time I was able to beat those remnants regularly. A paragon and four conquests. Sunder, well, this is all. Uh, Sunder is the only good thing here. I could take this. This would give me one ship that would attack, but the problem is it's a destroyer, and destroyers are weak. I'm tempted to get it. Let's get it. I'm, right, I'm itching to start taking fights, so let's build up our army. Can't get a weapon. Get, 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 get me. Hmm. Here's the, your iron cannons you're talking about. Let's get a couple of them on there. I don't have any PD. I don't have any big guns here. Whoops. What did I just do? Or we could get one of these. Plucks per damage, 0.8. Plucks per damage. Sorry, but the EMP damage is where it's at. Problem here is the range. Well, actually, let's not do these. Do we have anything with longer range? Nothing there. 800, but it's PD. 500 is all we got. Okay, I think I'll pass. We'll just get more stuff later. Can I get missiles here? No. Insulated, hardened missile racks, maybe? No. Drive field, possibly. Nope, no drive field. Distributor, bulkheads. Okay. And then build out. Uh, we, we need our primary weapon, is the problem. We'll add this for the time being. Oh my god. doing good we have one two three we have 18 ships oh man how close to it if I did my math wrong we're here we check these guys out you want to see a combat well we're not quite ready for it I want to see a combat too <laughs> I'm ready for it I'm itching I'm itching for a fight but that's one of my tactics is to avoid combat for a while because combat you can lose uh, you, or you can trade and, and losing or trading at the early stage is bad it's just simply bad so you, the idea is that you build up build up build up build up build up to a point where you can have combat easily uh, and the idea in combat in you know it's a real world tactic is that you want to have overwhelming 
numbers or some sort of overwhelming advantage. And that way, when you enter into the combat, there's no real risk of you losing. Uh, but if you don't have an advantage, or if the enemy has some advantage over you, then your advantage becomes nullified, even though it's a good advantage for you. So you have to, you have to watch out for that sort of stuff. I don't want to do that. I don't want to confirm. God, I almost confirmed that. I want to buy supplies. Not sell. I'm buying. Sort of. Uh, I work up to the fighting. Uh, once I get to the fighting stages, I'm, I'm kind of in the mid game. And then uh, the, the piracy really unfolds. In fact, I could start a little bit of piracy now. So that's what we're going to do. Let's look for better weapons. Let's go to Chancellor. What's this for? Remote survey? I don't want that. Oh. You like free cash early game by fighting instead of fighting. Oh, you, by fighting instead of piracy. I see what you're saying. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I prefer the smuggling early on. The, the fighting, I just don't start with enough fighting vessels. And like I said, you, you have this chance of losing in a fight. And you really don't want to be losing. Or trading. You really don't want to be trading. Nothing good there. Trade. This is the trading I want to do. So we can sell a little bit of this. Sell a lot of that. Actually, I don't want to sell that. Crew. Marines. Okay. I can buy domestic goods here. I think we're going to be demining. Yeah, we're going to buy this and go back to Galatia. I can buy these pole placers. Good. That's in the open market. True. That is true. I am. I like the eradicators. Eradicators are fun. You load them up, and having your commander command that, oh man. You just, you can nuke the hell out of people with the missiles. This is a really good missile ship, but it's really demodded right now. And right now, I'm not eager for the demods. Later, demods are good. Now, demods bad. I, I really like that it flips the script on the demods, so you eventually want demods, but you, you want to be selective with them. That's true. That's true. You get that's one, another advantage of the um, the in-game industrial skill point switch. Uh, I haven't gone for both simultaneously. I tried that one time, and it's just it's not as effective. You end up like losing your D mods, and you want the D mods. You, so it's, it really has to be one or the other. True. 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 I'm gonna buy all these. I'm a trader. I'm a trader at heart. So we're gonna go sell this at, I guess, the closest place at Capitan. And but we also wanted to do was get weapons here. So inventory. What weapons do they have? Ah, they have some jackhammers. I like these too. The annihilators. Let's buy some of those. Abort on the black market. Jackhammers. I've never been a big Sabot fan. They're, they can be good, but I'm not a big fan of them. Sabots, whatever you call them. Take these pulse lasers. Okay, so. Moral of the story is that we did not find another big, good weapon. Yep, Dragonfire is good. The problem with it is that it just doesn't have a lot of missiles. So, you just run out of missiles too fast basically have to have expanded missile racks and stuff like that. And you have to have, uh oh, over cargo capacity. What? That won't be the last one. Oh, Salamanca got captured. Nice. Ah, I could go there and sell stuff. Where is Salamanca? I have no idea.
It's over here. Like what? Where's Salamanca? There it is. Oh yeah. Uh, at later on. Right now, I'm not ready for all that yet. I I like doing all the rebellion stuff once I'm a bit more established. Once I have a colony, basically. Get, get a little income. Right now I don't have the superfluous money to really do too much with that. And we could take advantage of this thing that, that just happened here at Salamanca. I could fly there and sell some stuff to them, but it's a little bit too far for me. I just have to really stick with my plan of going to Capitaine. Yeah. Uh... Part of the problem with doing that, too, is that you're going to take a reputation hit with the uh, other factions. Which isn't the end of the world, especially if you do what I... My tactic is you do tilde. Uh, I don't have that enabled right now. But you pull down the console and tell everybody to hate you immediately, <laughs> right when you start. And then, when you do things like that, you don't have to worry about taking the reputation hit because everybody already hates you. <laughs> it's, a, it's an advantage there. Okay, what's happening? Don't come after me. They're having some sort of fight over here. I'm going here. I'll make me go this way. Let's turn it on. Let's go around the star this way. Back to auto. We turn it off now. That's B2 to go through this without hitting. the hegemony to pop off and dominate you need to sabotage that's true you do and i intend to fully <laughs> trust me the hegemony will be my bitch at, by the end of this it, it, oh i was gonna saying earlier that chico is like my goal once i can capture chico and establish the whole altazan altazan solar system as my as my home uh, chico becomes unstoppable because it gets a size 8 planet, which you can't... I don't like the fact that the vanilla doesn't let you build up to the same sizes that the other factions start at. So you can never just be their equal. You have to literally capture them to be their equal. And that's one thing I don't like about the vanilla game uh, and why I like Nexarellin is that Nexarellin lets you capture markets. Vanilla, you're not capturing Chico. Ever. Ever. You just can't capture it. It's, it's not a capturable thing. So, that kind of ruins the experience for me. It's true. It, it's funny. You, like, neuter them. Uh, and I do do that. Usually I start by doing that. And then come back and capture. But I really like being able to capture Chico. Because once you capture it, and you build up the fortifications, they just have no chance when they try to attack it. They just, they have no chance. It's, it's awesome. You can have so much defense at it. And I usually like building it out for defense. So it just has a ludicrous amount of ground defense that they just can never capture it no matter what they do. And I can go wherever I want. True. Red Fire Bay. Advanced turret. Where am I? I'm selling. What am I doing here? We're buying and selling. We're selling this. Oh, okay. Sell, sell, sell. Now we're talking. Got our money back. How about vessels? Ah, they have a good buffalo. But it is totally demodded. With bad demods. That's true. Uh, well, I haven't passed any time yet. No time has passed. And I, I don't really want to spark a rebellion just yet. I don't need to do that. want to do is buy some good ships. I'm not seeing the good ships that I want to buy. Maybe this guy? The greatest shield maintenance. No thank you. Okay, so where do we go from here? What did they have to sell that were good? Let's check that. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. Support them. Support their efforts. But I don't, I'm not too worried about it. They just started out, so they're not going to like take over the galaxy overnight. I've got some time to play with. I think I'm still in like the first year. Tempted to get the heavy machinery. Or this. Here we go. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. We're making money doing this. Kruor is having a problem. We're going to go to Kruor. And sell, baby, sell. Might be worth it to buy the rest of it, too. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. I think we want to buy this. It'll probably be expensive at Kruor. Kanta's Den. Here we go. We won't really want to go to Kansas Den next. I think what I want to do is buy one of these storage things, even though it's bad. Compromise storage. Ouch. Let's get it. Even though it's bad, we're getting it anyway. So, uh, F? No. I want more storage. More cargoes. Auto fit? Not the drive, but the cargo holds and the insulated engine. And then whatever else. Just to keep it alive. Just to keep it moving. Okay. Auto fit. Let's do a custom cancel. I could restore it. How much is that gonna send me back? Okay. Not the end of the world to restore that guy. It's like twice what I paid for it. I don't want to do it then. Not worth it right now, obviously. I kind of want some of these wings, like a piranha wing. I want to get those into battle. Hardened shield is also really good. Advanced optics, really good. And dirt cheap, damn. Why is it dirt cheap? This is not dirt cheap, this is expensive. But this is really good. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Let's just get the dirt cheap one. We're going to get blueprints later. I get really into this game. <laughs> I'm just like grinding away on it. I, I really need to do, uh, take another break. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the grind. Some more tofu. Tofu's going cold. It's okay to eat tofu. That's cool. Repairing Nima, yeah. You can switch too, but you have to spend the story point to do it regularly. I've done that. I've built out one way and then switched halfway through, built, built out another way. And I even do even more changes. Let's look at the uh, commander's upgrades. I usually skip the combat entirely. I don't have my guy do combat. Everybody else can do combat. But sometimes I do. I'll go for field modulation, speed, usually, and combat endurance for the elite skill that allows it to repair the hull. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Uh, time doesn't matter. That feels overpowered. I I've thought about doing some of the mods that let you get more of these abilities, but that really just makes it more overpowered for the commander. And I get to a point in my playthroughs where I feel already super overpowered, especially when you get the some of the mods, the modded factions that have these giant ships that are like just enormous ships. Even though they're like rudimentary ships, they're like, you know a hundred supply to get the thing onto the battlefield. But those things are so powerful whenever they get attacked by the enemy fleets, it's basically like a, it's like a space station and it just can't be killed. Uh, they, they come in and they try to attack and they just die, especially if you have support ships around it. So I like to go that way, but that requires the faction mods. We're at level three here. We want this one next, containment procedures, and then we go. I might 
I could call here. I'm gonna take a little break though. Give me like, uh, I think I'm gonna do like a 10 minute break. I need to do some stretching and then uh, check on my backyard. Might need to pop outside for a second. Fucking tofu is insanely good. Japanese barbecue sauce is crazy. Only on certain ships. Only on like the tank or the uh, anchor ship who like needs the shields. It depends. I usually try to go for both shields and damage. Yeah, on an onslaught, no. I would definitely sacrifice the shields for more damage. I've thought about building out the onslaught with shields. But it's just not effective. Onslaught is better uh, with no speed upgrades because it has that little speed boost on its own. Uh, maybe a little bit of speed upgrades because it is so slow. But um, it also has those two blaster cannons. I try to support those blaster cannons so you get the um, extended magazines, which helps them a lot. And uh, you work on the flux. You make it a flux beast. And that's how I like to build that thing. Because if you have onslaughts that can absorb the flux, and like I'll do a hardened shield on it just for the flux effect of hardened shield. You're basically getting 25% more output efficiency because you took a 25% cut in shield damage. Like you don't have to spend the flux on shields, you're spending the flux in your weaponry instead in an active fight. Now, I want to see a combat too, but I'm not ready there. You're going to have to tune back in later for combat. I, I don't mean to leave you hanging, but I do need to take a break. It, you're right. It's totally more OP. And that's good at the beginning when you're like learning the game. But for me, and right now what I'm trying to do is have like a pretty vanilla all around it experience. Good question. It might be tomorrow. I hate to laugh at that, but uh, at the rate I'm going, uh, it's going to be tomorrow before I get into combat. Although, I, I say that. Let me see where I'm at. Because what I could do, now that I have this, well, I want to get a gun on this ship. So, can I do that yet? I can get a pulse laser. It's not what I want. I can get pulse lasers here. I want a large weapon on this thing. And then I'll get into combat. So let me do this break. I'm going to take a break real quick. Um, so what I'm going to do is save it. I save and exit. I'm going to return to the main screen here. And then pop back in. I, I like this as a screen saver. This basic screen right here is nice. Uh, well, I take a little break. What would you say? I start stocking up combat ships. Right. That's kind of the idea. My my game plan is to really stock up enough combat ships to support my trading fleet. So I need cargo ships. And eventually I will get to the big cargo ships, which you have to have an army to defend those suckers. So, it's coming. Uh, another thing about building your army is that you can build a better army at a higher commander level. Good idea? I want to go to Corvus. Corvus is on my agenda. Uh, there was something that was a good deal to sell or buy there. I forget what it was. But when you level up your commander to level 15, uh, that's when you are able to buy the big capital ships at all the, at the places and the game will start spawning in enemy capital ships for you to capture once you hit level 14, 15. Uh, so the goal for me early on is to just do a lot of buying and selling, trading with economy so that I level up through these economic trades allowing me to get more ships in the process and then by the time I reach like level 10 I'm, I'm basically unstoppable. Really, by the time I reach level 6, 
or five maybe. By the time we get that uh, derelict operations, my guy will feel unstoppable. Yep, that's a good idea. Uh, one of the things you can do with the smaller ship tactics like that is get the wolf pack upgrade pretty quickly. And so your smaller ships are just doing, you know, a larger percentage of damage. It's very effective. But then I end up getting rid of the wolf pack and going full carrier, full wings, wing combat. It's just stronger. Uh, it's, I, I thought that, like... Yeah, I thought that like the Paragon and Conquest was the best way to go, or like Executors. But then when I started playing with the um, all the the carrier type ships, and really the Astral is garbage. So in vanilla, the Astral carrier design is pretty much garbage. But when you get with the other mods, the other factions, their some of their carriers are just insane. There's one that's like exactly, exactly, and, and you get the wings that have drones in it instead of fighters so that you're not losing your crew when you go into combat that's a really smart trade i really like the tridents who shoot the astropo missile that kind of like does the little guided thing and hits them for me that feels like one of the strongest missiles even though it's not as strong as the reaper it just connects more often like the reaper will miss half the time or more so why miss when you can hit every shot? And the Tridents, they're getting all these free missiles. So you have endless free missiles. Uh, that feels pretty good. And they do a good volley. When you get four of them on a ship, you get four, you get eight of those little Tridents launching their missiles and strong. Yeah, I have. Not quite as strong, in my opinion, as the Astro. That's good. I'll be back. I'm going to take like a 10 minute break, real quick. Sorry to leave you hanging. But I'll be back. I shall return. I shall return. computer view. Did this work? It did. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm still here, but I'll be right back. Actually, I'm just going to take me right back off, because I'm here. I can hear you if you talk. Be right back. Be right back.
basically back. Last of my tofu. Well, last of this batch. Which is a half batch. Still have a little bit more in there. This is my second block of tofu in the day. I'm tofu crazy. It wasn't as good as I thought it'd be. Gas gets a sconia. Look at that. Fuel. I do have enough. Nice. Just can't get back. That's fine. Leave me alone. Mind your own business. Mercenary scout. I can kill you. I have 
Vulturn and not Cruor? Okay. This too, then. You do. Okay. Good deal. Figure it out. Okay. Confirm. F. What do we have here? We have a wolf here. I'll take it. F. Wolfy boy up top. Supplies? Okay, fine. Containment. We're reducing our fuel consumption. And emergency no longer re reduces. Ah, I thought it no longer required a fuel, but it just no longer reduces combat readiness. That's good. Confirm. Okay. Going here. Got some speed. Not too much speed, though. Move to engage? No. Huh. Oh my god! He just spawned and right where I tried to touch the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They should. I don't like how when ships spawn out of the planets, they can immediately interact with you. There needs to be like a leeway period where you can react to what just came out. Okay. Any traders. Uh, let's just do some trading here. On the black market, of course. We're gonna lose some rep doing this, but that's okay. You want that stuff? Okay, we'll keep that some of this. What about this? Nope. I did buy this for cheap. Oh, let's keep that. Someone else will buy that for more. This is what we want. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Mm, your drugs are cheap here. Aha, this stuff. I'll get that 
somewhere else. Rangefinder, black market, we're already on. Open market, yeah. Definitely good. This is great here. These get a tanker. Aha. Uh -huh. Falcon Ring. I don't like Falcon Ring. What about Weapon Ring? Alright. Yes, you do have the big laser for me. It's good, good, good. Or this. The auto pulse laser is really good too with that ship. Damn. I think I want this one though. The high intensity. Sustained is where it's at. Damage for seconds high, but the sustain is low. And sustained is what matters when you get into combat, when you be able to sustain the combat. It's by all means. I don't want these guys too. Also, the. I don't know how they're going to Getting ready for combat. Getting ready. Let's get rid of these. Get rid of the blast doors and the thrusters. This will be one of these little crap weapons. More little crap weapons. Aha, you came back. like any of this stuff. Okay, we're gonna put it on there anyway. We don't need a rear gun. F a rear gun. F that. Actually, we don't need this one. F that gun. We don't want this gun anymore. Something's doing anything for us. Wait a minute. Auto pulse. Pulse laser. I want two pulse lasers. There we go. That feels better. Five capacitors. Fine. Distributor is what matters. Distributor and vents. So the shield flux is pretty high here. Weapon flux is high. Higher than our flux dissipation. So eventually this thing will have to stop shooting. That's fine. Right? It'll probably only be shooting its laser most of the time because the range is so good on that. Uh, we do want to fix this. These want to be auto. Okay, we have a combat vessel. We are approaching combat territory. No, nope, I want to never mind that. F, I. We're at Sindria still. We bought supplies and we bought gas. They're going to hound us when we leave. Because I've done all this on the black market, so they're not going to be happy with me. I might, could buy another boat here. Could get a Falcon. I don't really like the Falcons though. We'll do enough D DPS. I've got a Sunderer. Could get a mule for the cargo. It's nice on the mule. But it's basically worthless in combat. It just dies. The Manticore is strong. This is a strong combat ship. Large ballistic enables it to do some really good damage for a smaller ship. Whenever I fight those, they feel really tough. I really want to get one of these atlases. I could afford it, but uh, I don't have to do it yet. I don't need the supply just yet, the cargo space just yet. Can't afford everything I want. Eh, something in my eye. Not just... This guy's the administrator, the supreme executor, Philip Andrada. I remember that being, they, they've given him new things. I could do some piracy. He's got an alpha core here on his high command. Oh, yeah. And he's got a ruined, corrupted nano forge. That's why his stuff's cheaper. Ah, uh, he's also got this. The synchrotron core. 
Sneaky geekies. Okay, repair, trade, black market. We're done here. We're just done here. We're leaving here. Unless I want to buy some of this, actually. We're not done. We're not done. I can still get a good deal on this stuff. Okay, so who am I selling this to? Karis? Kuror. We're going back to Kuror. Let's go back there. 132. Maybe he wants to buy it more. We can afford that. We can afford a lot of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's just buy all of it. Back at 99 per unit, it's not so bad. Done, sold, committed, we're leaving. They're still gonna hound us though. Okay, so we wanna go down and around to back to Kruor. But this guy is gonna make my life a pain. This guy too, maybe. He's not gonna catch me. He can't catch me. Yes, you can. Holy shit. I allow it. I'm leaving. I just did some trading. Jeez. Leave me alone. I can't believe you had the speed to catch me. I'm only going at 18, so... That's my problem. Gaining some experience. My relationship improved, even though they chased me. Because <laughs> I bought all that little supplies. Where did Kuro go? Grand Armada parading around right at me. Um, I think I've already bought it. I think I bought it. I just haven't equipped it on anything. And I don't need to equip it on this. Max burn is 9. Max burn is 10. I want 9. So, ah, the Shepherds. What is the Shepherds? Max burn is 11. Oh my god, they got the uh, bonus. Yeah, I don't know why I'm going so slow. I don't have a sh why why am I my top speed should be oh I I do know why because it's the commander upgrades it's this navigation you get maximum burn level and once I get that my I'm set I'm going twenty this is also helpful sensors I get I get these two I get navigation and sensors after this so I get derelict operations these two. And then I move up here to leadership. And I go for support doctrine. It's huge. Support doctrine makes all your lower level ships so strong. Uh, piracy is coming. I'm getting I'm getting into piracy a little bit here. I'm, I'm still into trading at this point. We were trading at Kuror. On the black market. If they'll let me. They will. Looking at the bar. Trading, black market. The supplies. We just bought all those supplies. So let's make a killing here. Let's keep 400 and sell those. There we go. I'm not gaining much out of this. I might actually just not do that. Abort. Is there somebody else who wants this for more? There is. We'll go to Karis. Or we'll wait for a rebellion to occur. The fuel I can sell. And go right back. Okay, let's do that. Well, we're just making money. The game presents this to you as a way to make money, so I'm going to take advantage of it. While I get better ships as well. So we could even sell some of this. That's fine. Salamanca, which was just taken over, we knew about that. And Sphinx, we did not know about that. That's a little out of our way. And also, I don't want to rebel. I don't want to affect the Persians too much. I'm okay with the hegemony being pissed off at me, but I want to try to keep everybody else happy with me. So they leave me alone, basically. And they trade with me. Ah, this is what we're doing. We're buying this stuff and transporting it back to Sangria. Yeah. We'll take advantage of it. 
I like to support the rebellion. Give them the marines and heavy arms and stuff. But so I need to be buying marines and buying heavy arms. Like Kaz. It looks like the place to go for that. Or Madeira. For marines. But first, we can do this. We're still selling this for a pretty good price. Keep that. Sort. Ah, ships. Ships, ships, ships. Buy. Black market. Open market. Let's check open. Open market. <laughs> Even worse. Okay. So, we go back to Cindria with a load of stuff here. Black market. This stuff. They want that at Cindria. 83. As well as this. Anything else? No. No. This. Nope. You want that. Okay. okay. So, buy that and buy this. Then we go back and get some more gas. I could even sell. Eh, I don't want to sell the supplies. I'm not getting enough profit by selling the supplies. Now, uh, you're going to harass me. losing my rep by letting these guys catch me. That feels bad, man. They're like ship. Let's see what it is. I don't want it. Now I've got too many supplies. <laughs> Say la vie. Don't, don't chase me. I've already been chased. I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm going to go right through these guys. And then hit this. Trade, black market, all this crap. I did not get anything for that. <laughs> take that. Take all of that for sure. I'm gonna need to take even more. Gas. And supplies. I think is what I want to buy here. Black market, anything. Their drugs are cheap. That's not. So, it's the open market. This. Buying at 107? I don't know if that's worth it. Let's just keep what we have. Okay, if we just keep what we have. Ah, ships. F2. Black market? We have been here before already with all this. Condors, considering it. Market, uh, this buffalo might enable me to do stuff. I'm tempted to get the atlas now, but my problem with that is I would lose supply room, supply money. We can come back for one. Too much now. It's too much now. We we'll lose too much on maintenance now. Dockside bar, leave. What's in the dockside bar? Disappointed by commodity traders. What do you want? Piracy? Uh, what do you want me to do in terms of piracy? Lots of vanilla texts are upgraded as well as depending on the mod. Yeah. That's true. Some mods. Some mods make it feel like they're upgraded. Some mods make it feel like they're not. You want me to kill a smuggler? Is that what you're saying? So E, leave the bar. E, smuggling. From independent, I want to kill the independents. Ah, this is good. Five days till departure. But how big will they be is the question. Strength valuables. And yeah, we'll look for this. It's, it's going to go right through our path, too. So, yeah, good idea. Uh, what was the other things? Rebellions. The Salamanca Rebellion. It'll be going on for a while. So we could go there next to sell stuff. Actually, we need to acquire stuff first before we sell. That would make sense. And we want to go to Kaz to acquire. Okay. So let's leave here and exit. How can we get out of here? Go this way, this way. They're going to harass me, though. So let's just eat the harassment. They're not going to harass me. I'm going to press. That guy thought about it. Okay. 
So now we go up to the Mayasura. And we wait for that guy. We have five days, so it should be like four now, three now. Okay. I don't want to fight them in the system. Yeah, three days. Oh no, what's the no. no smuggling. There we go. Two days until departure. And then it's going to take them a little while to come out. So let's just hang out. Let's turn our transponder off. Let me smart off. That's all. We're just going to hang out here in the store and wait for them. What did I miss? Relationship Syndria. Okay. Oh, what would that be? Super spies. It's aloof. Now, do you think I could take this fight? That's another question. It's a level 2 danger. But if I take this fight, I might not be able to take the next fight. Let's have a go at it. Let's see who they are first of all. They're neutral. Okay. I think we're gonna go for this. It's a smuggler, so we're catching one smuggler. We're waiting for one smuggler while we catch another. It's gonna look good here. This is my ship back here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put myself into combat. We're moving to engage. We're continuing. You want a combat? You got combat. <laughs> Enjoy. Let me turn my overhead light off and get a soda. And then come back. Hold on. Hold your horse. just have my red light on now. You won't be able to see my soda unless I pull it out, so I'm drinking Zevia cream soda. Okay, and I want my soda cup. I'm going to pour my special juice into it. Where is my special juice? I'm going through my special juice faster than I normally do. Okay, don't go too much. I'm not, I'm not super into the special juice, just I like a little pour. Aim for tipsy. I aim for tipsy is what I do. Then in water. Then the soda. Ooh, ASMR soda. Get that nice boop. Bonk bunk the mic while I pour the... Let's try to just let you hear the soda being poured. Okay, enough of that foolishness. We are going to deploy all of our ships, basically. <laughs> Everything that can fight is going to fight. Except for the kites. We'll save them. Okay. All right, boys, you know what to do. What do you want to do? Let's keep you over here. You over here. You're with him, and you're with him. You are with him. You're on S, and you droners are on S. Okay. And then we, we turn these waypoints off, and they come back in, like to basically to flank the enemy. It's a pretty effective tactic take the sides. Take the flanks. So we can go ahead and even drop it now. They only have five ships? Okay, I think we're golden. Let's see what's happening. He can't keep up. His guns are not as good. My plus is at half his maxed out almost. Oh, he's getting used. Oh, he did not like that. The Gorgons messed him up. Got another Gorgon coming in. Two more Gorgons. I do not like that. The Gorgons are strong. The, the new missiles that they added are very strong. Let's see what our main ship is up to. Main ship, fight. You're, you're, you're running away. Main ship. Main ship, fight. <laughs> Don't run away. Fight. Okay. F. I need to press the F button. I'm paused. Okay, I'm paused. I'd like to be able to zoom out a little bit more. Uh, I could, uh, but I I don't need. Uh, when you pilot, you lose a lot of stuff. You lose the ability to control flux as well. So like, you can't manage your shields and flux as well as the weapon attacking as well as the computer just handles it all so brilliantly. Uh, only if I'm trying to do special tactics do I pilot. Or if I have like a lot of missiles on a ship, I can just dump all my missiles. Whereas the AI does never does the missile dump. I just don't like that tactic. So what I do is I just tell them to attack. I just 
give them a direct attack order. So he's just gonna chase these guys. But these guys are so strong. Look how strong this guy is. He's got a Molnir can. Of all the, the drones from the uh all the your shepherds that you want to get are all messing him up. <laughs> That's what all those little points. The problem is he's not taking the damage. Here we go, we got, we got our laser on him. Oh, well, then you just backed off. Flux issues. So we gotta deal with all the smaller guys first. And you see how these, uh, these guys are so far back. If I give them any weapon, they're gonna get closer. He's already a little too close for my comfort. We have a little problem up here. What if you kill this guy and you also kill him? Focus them down here. All of you, focus this guy. That feels good. We're, we're doing direct attack orders now. It was good. Okay. So, these guys decided they would focus down here. Not attack that guy anymore. I don't want to avoid him. Whoop. Whoop. He escapes. F. Escape. Tab. F. No. Nope. Just want nothing on him. I need to avoid him. Here we go. This guy's about to die. I want to get rid of that white flash. That. I can do that right now. Settings. Settings. Enable ship explosion screen whiteout. You don't need to give me a flashbang every time there's a freaking ship blowing up. A little small ship. <laughs> Crazy. It, like, it looks kind of cool, but it doesn't. The screen doesn't need it. It just needs to explode. You just need to have a little explosion, a little brightness. Fine. Not the whole screen. Crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. All right. Everybody kill him except for you. Well, even you. You die in the process. What do I do? Combat readiness is at 9, 8 now. Okay. Maybe you fall back. Well, it doesn't matter now. Defeated, but I really want to kill him. So full assault. Let's kill this guy. This guy's strong. They're very hard to kill. Vigilance. Very hard to kill. Oh, you want to combat? You saw it. It was pretty terrible. <laughs> it was not an exciting combat. I just have two smaller ships. You just can't do enough damage. Guys. This guy's a reaper. <laughs> Pursue him. Order it. You, you kill them all. That's your job. Ship recovery. This guy blew up. We could get this. What did that cost us? Crew? And supplies? 40 supplies? I don't know if it's worth that. 55 crew. I don't think it's worth it. Package. Well, that's nice. This is also super nice. We do good. Piracy pays. And we got this gun. The Molnir cannon. Awesome gun. We don't need the fuel. Holy hell, we are overloaded. Big time. So where can we sell the drugs? No, we're close by. We can get rid of this stuff. I really want all the supplies. I don't want to ditch those in space. I got a skill point to spend. All right. Well, guess what? We just became unstoppable. Derelict operations. 
confirmed. Well, you saw it. From zero to hero, this is just so huge. Your ships are almost always recoverable, so that's awesome. Ships lost in combat have a 75% to 90% chance to avoid demods. That's not bad. Chance to remove one demod. Wait a minute, I'm on the wrong thing. <laughs> Highlight and I was like, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. Deployment. Oh, it doesn't affect my supply. It does. Maintenance cost. Hold deployment cost reduction also applies to maintenance cost. So, this right here, the makeshift equipment, reduces the monthly consumption for ship maintenance by 50% or 100 units, whichever is lower. And then this one also reduces you down even more, the maintenance cost. So anything that has demods now is just not going to cost me hardly anything to keep afloat. It's a very valuable thing early on because it means you're not having to spend all this money all the time. So we are waiting to catch this guy, but we want to sell our... Oh, what we can do is just dump it into space for the time being. And then we just pick it right back up. It'll last in space for while we're standing here. We wait for this guy to pop out. We just lost 10% of our money to the monthly business, which is hurt. What we want, it really, is another ship. I probably should have taken that ship just to get the storage off of it. <laughs> which one do I want? I think I want this one. Where's this guy at? I'm not seeing him. Oh, he, he hasn't popped out yet. He's left the thing. He's approaching. If I take these cargo pods, I won't be able to catch them. Well, he's not coming out. Maybe he already did and I missed him. No, two days until departure. Oh, wait. That's in here. Well, it's not here anymore. Still coming. I'm just gonna wait. Well, hell. Oh, that was the other one that I wanted. Let's take it. 500 supplies. I'm laughing joke. Who wants supplies? It's close. Nobody close wants supplies, you're kidding me. Who wants supplies here? You guys maybe? It's possible that they were killed by pirates elsewhere. The, the people I was about to pray on. I want that, I want six. High risk. Six, you're kidding me. Cut yourself for nothing. Oh, we gotta do it. Looks like you're rid of this stuff. You're better. That's also dirt cheap here. Why is it dirt cheap? Oh my god. Well, actually, a board. Let's see if I can get a ship that will carry it. Oh, I can get an eradicator. But I burned through my money. Open market. This guy will let me carry cargo. I don't know if worth it though. You got a lot of D mods. But, but D mods are okay now. Alright, let's get this guy. Let's also get the other one. The eradicator. Like, although it doesn't have any D mods. Well, it's gonna get D mods built into it after a few fights. Uh, I don't wanna do that. I thought about it. I don't wanna do that actually. I need crew. Wow. Okay, let's pick up some crew. I need a crew. What did you say? More kitters? A longbow LPC. I don't have a longbow yet. Dump metals. Good idea. Good idea. Where's my metals? Oh, I dumped them already on space. Yeah, I already did that. A 
Okay, so what we wanted to do was pick up ships. We did pick up a ship, and then we want to go to F. Look at our ship. We don't want to keep this one forever. We have fighter bays we could employ. Let's do talons. Dirt. Cheap. Dirt effective as well. What we want is expanded cargo, as well as insulated engines. And then the bulkheads. And we don't even want, we're not even going to arm this guy. Wanted cargo space. So now I didn't have to sell all that stuff. Very good, very, very good. I can just keep those supplies and sell them. There's some place that's gonna actually pay me for them. These guns, anything? No, no, no. Okay, I think we're done here. Oh no, we actually wanna buy the drugs. We wanna get 400, I think. Oh, 800's fine. Other stuff we left, that's fine. We can leave that. The metals and whatnot. Had a little bit of fuel. We were going to sell ah a Dinkuru back in Galatia, eh? Fuel. We could get some more yeah, we could go to okay. Wow, they want that too? Damn. Ah, we wanted this. We're selling this. Capitain. And Azaria. That's right. Galatia. Back to Galatia. Back and forth. Ping ponging around. But we're getting to the point where we can start to take fights. Little fights. Little bitty fights. Traitors. What I like to do is beat up on the independents and then earn the independents favor by doing missions and basically let them be happy for me to beat them up and kill them and take their stuff. And they're just like, oh, we love you anyway. <laughs> we just love this guy. He can do no wrong. That's what I like to do. Feels good, man. Okay, that's area. Happy game. We're still going. Kicking in. Whatever it's called. Two. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Returning? Okay, we don't care. Backside bar, concern, I'm not concerned about. I'm gonna get rid of ore on the climb. Leave that. Leave that guy in the dust. Black market. Supplies are dirt cheap here. But drugs are expensive. So that's good. We just made our money back. We're not gonna go broke. Supplies. Why are just cheap? Good lord, I have to buy you here. Wow, Chico, 59 cent supplies? That's almost half price. That's insane. That's insane. You have so many available. I gotta invest. Fuel. Uh -huh. You could sell fuel here. 45. Dinku's better at 52, though. Dinku wants this. He wants 62. So we'll buy that. Oh, I like these. Hyper velocity drivers. I also like the assault chain guns. We get a couple of those. Since we're rolling now. Go to spend. What you got in terms of shippery? Shipperonics. Shippertude. Shipperosity. 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 Now I'm high. I'm just talking shit. Okay. I'm high. I'm out of my mind. It's Friday, you ain't got a job. Okay. Persian wings, no, Azaria, no. Groombridge, oh yeah, we have to come back here later. Okay. I think we're done here. Okay. Hello. <laughs> you interdicted me. You're unloading drugs and stuff? Well, not yet. Over 
her on cargo. What did I get? It's too many supplies? <laughs> okay. Fine. Fine, be that way. Who wanted the supplies? Keras has gone through the roof all of a sudden in Yama. That's where we're going. Yam it up. At least you're gonna have to wait. This guy is offering to pay more. Yeah. Salvage expedition, but you are very scary. Recreational drugs, also scary. Not scary per se, but. Oh my gosh. Supplies, fuel, ship hulls, and heavy arms. What's my inventory at? I'm at I'm full. I would love to kill these guys. Can't afford it. I have to kill those guys on another time. That's my favorite number. Okay. Wow. What a deal. What a freaking deal. Let's keep a couple hundred. And sell the rest for a massive profit. We're oh more oh my god, we're doubling the amount of money we already have, and we already have an absurd amount of money. That's wild. Fuel. Who wants this for more? We'll say Crew is dirt cheap here. Stock up on crew, if that's the case. Holy hell. Oh, I could have stocked up on them. F. Oh, well, we'll stock up on Marines later. Mercy. Mercy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, no, I thought this was the place that had the rebellion. It's not. It's not. Who wants this? Anybody close? Scaffy? Version front. It's okay, actually. Long bows. Black market. Yeah, it's a bunch of crap here. Okay. So. Inventory. What do we have here? These are good. Yeah. A A I R Auto Lance. Those are good. The range makes them very strong. Hiddenly good. Better than they have here. I'll take a piranha. Let's get some four piranhas. And look at the ships. Ships are garbage here. Bar is garbage here. We're there. We have so much money now. Let's just go somewhere and try to buy stuff. Looking for me? serious too but it's tiny it's not gonna do the same type of field dominance as the dominator 
But I don't know if I want that yet. I think that might be too big for me right now. Also doesn't have any D mods. I don't want D mods. I want some simple, easy D mods. Not five D mods. Although, not the worst. Structural damage and degraded shields are bad. You don't want the shields to be degraded, because that impacts your flux. The Valkyrie, yeah, it's pretty strong. And it's going to give me the ability to buy and sell more troops. It's actually a very strong ship in combat. Not very, very strong, but it's a pretty strong little crappy ship. If you deck it out. Skeleton crew required is really small, too. I think we got to get one. about getting this guy too, just for the storage. Increased maintenance, but the the D mod offset from that is he's gonna cost less anyway because he has a D mod. I think we just get him. We can afford it. Okay, so F. Let's look at what we got. We got one of these. Let's refit him. What can you have up here? None of that looks good. Maybe this. We'll just play around with this. I like the light mortar. You want to do anti-armor damage, if possible. And the back will have some Vulcans. And then we add... Oh yeah, the ground support package is really nice too. I forgot about that. It, it just helps your effectiveness of raiding and I believe also uh, invasion. Invasions. Invading. It helps with give it insulated engine cargo or actually no we want birthing on, on anything that has a uh, crew you want birthing to make it better and anything that has gas you want fuel tanks anything that has cargo you want cargo holds because it, it gives it so much more it's just way better that way okay reinforced and then flux I do want reinforced though. Okay. This guy. Add in cargo. Insulated. And reinforced. And you want a gun or two on you, maybe? Some Vulcans? Okay. Don't die. Okay. Now we should be able to hold more junk, which is really good. We're at 42. Okay. Black market wise, we can take some more gas. <laughs> Supplies we don't want to buy. No, sure. Not today. Oh boy. Any arms. This is where the rebellion is happening, Salamanca. But, oh my gosh, organics. Who wants that? Scathy. But the other place is even cheaper. The last place we were at had even cheaper organics. Yeah, no cheap weapons. Oh, they have these. Hyper velocity drivers. Uh, how many? I think I have two of those. Three. We'll get a few more. These are really strong. And talk about disabling. These these are so good at disabling from a distance. You get like a thing shooting these, you, you've done some damage. And even their damage isn't that bad. It's not great, but it's the range. But what makes this gun so good is its range. And it's good against shields. So uh, the advantage of letting the uh, computer pilot your ship is that they can change the weapons automatically so that they only shoot the anti-shields when they need to and they, they only shoot the anti-armor when they need to. And as a human player, you can't do that. Ah, that's true. Uh, the Dragonfire does so much damage so fast that it can be very effective. But the problem, one of the problems they don't talk about with the Dragonfire and Gorgon is that it's like a two-phase missile. And so if the first missile touches anything else, just like a, you know, an old blown-up ship or a, whatever they call them, asteroids that are just floating around, 
it damages it and it stops the missile entirely. So those weapons are also good at the start of the fight, but not as good at the end of the fight because there's so much debris flying around the field that your missiles can get canceled. But also at the end of the fight, it's not so big of a deal because you've run out of the missiles already. So they're very strong. I like the other, I think I like the other ones more than the dragon. Not from what you've seen? Okay. Uh, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm thinking more of like the Gorgons and stuff. I, I've played more around with the Gorgons than the uh, Dragonfire. Dragonfire requires that main missile slot. Whereas you can get the Gorgons on the, uh, the side. Little smaller missile packs. Uh, I don't think so. Not in my opinion. But you can build it so that it has like a, um, what's it, the energy gun that shoots like a uh, purple little blast out. I forget what that one's called. But th that's a pretty good gun for the Apogee. But overall, I don't think the Apogee's good. I, I think I'm, if I'm thinking of the same gun, if I'm thinking of the same ship. It's like a science vessel looking thing. Yeah, they're not here. In my opinion, it's not that good. I avoid getting it. It has sensor range, so it can be good for sensoring, finding where you're going. Other than that, I don't know. I don't go for it. Okay, we really want to go to Chico to buy supplies. That's our next mission. And we want to get rid of these guys, so we're going to Kanta to get rid of them. Okay, that's our goal. This is, we, have, we have a plan. Oh, you know what I can do is buy more. Not here, though. Ah, I want to buy these guys at the other place and come back here and sell them real quick. Okay, we have a plan. That's not going to take long to do. Uh, what did you want? Oh, yeah. Ah, now we have enough space here. Okay. So we could do this, which will take us to Kaz, where we can buy cheap stuff, cheap supplies. So we can avoid going to Chico down here. I think I want to do this. I think I'm ready to do this now. Yeah, I, so. I don't want to buy them, guys. Now let's do repair. And then go back to Paris. And then come right back to This is the strategy. When they're really close like this, you basically have to. Trade. Black market. these guys right here. Buy all them. Thought we could even buy any more of them. Wow. Just these. No, nope, it's not a good deal to buy and sell. These guys are so cheap. We gotta buy more. Okay. Here. I'm, I'm starting to burn out. I'm hitting the brick wall here, so I probably got about another 10 minutes and then I'm going to crash. Don't fight me! Leave me alone. I'm going to go this way. Turn this back on. Oh, actually, I want to turn it back off, don't I? You're going to leave me alone? You've just invaded, that's why. So here, let's piss off the hegemony and sell all those marines. I want to keep these organics, we're trading those. We're delivering those. I want more supplies. So I didn't get hardly any money for that, but it feels good. Because this is the rebellion. I'm supporting the rebellion. Confirm. What about these guys? Oh, you do want crew. Great, 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 great. Take some Oh, you know what? I also want to buy more of these talents. Talons are so dirt cheap, but when you mix them onto all of your ships, they become very powerful. It, it essentially causes a distraction. It's sort of like disabling the other ships. It just disables them with little fighter wings. Okay, so we're done going back and forth. Now we want to leave here.
stop it here when we go to the next place. Uh, in route. I like to be in route to a place when I quit. So that when I come back, I can sort of see where I'm going. And I don't have to like figure out what the hell I was doing. Alright, so the plan is. Oh, there's a lot of bounties out there. We're getting to the point where I can start taking some bounties. Ah, I'm going to do this. I'm delivering these organics. So that's easy to remember. And we'll just save it right here. In fact, I could go into Fool. It won't let me do that. There we go. I click that. Now we're done. So, save and exit. Or just save, fine. We'll go to this other screen. Our little cozy computer screen here. Will it put that up on there? It will. Very nice. Ah. Adian, 60. Thank you for coming in, man. That was awesome. You're an awesome dude. Uh, if you're into streaming, I will watch your stream. I can open up this and follow you directly this way. You are offline. You have one follower. Well, guess what? I just I just doubled your follower count. You now have two followers. Uh, if and when you ever do start streaming, I'll be there. And I can uh, see what's going on with you. Whoa. Good yep, good night. I'll see you later. I appreciate you stopping by and checking me out. I'm not sure how you found me exactly, but I appreciate you reaching out and checking out what's going on with people who aren't major streamers. It takes a special person to not watch the big streams, to go down to the lower levels and see what's churning with us little minions. So I appreciate that. But uh, thanks so much. I'll catch you later. And uh, I'm done for now. I'm burnt out. I've hit this brick wall. The sun has set. And I am a car camper. I used to car camp for years. And when the sun went down, man, that was my signal to go to bed. And when the sun came up, that was my signal to wake up. It's impossible to sleep in a hot car. It's just impossible. So thanks for coming by. Appreciate you. I'll catch you next time. I'm Audi. I'm Audi 5000.